that's the wrong camera angle. That's, you're just looking at a box. That's not any good for you. All right. Hi, folks. Alamandic here. You are staring at a big box between me and you right now because this is the Anycubic Cobra Max, which is by no means a small 3D printer. Music is too loud. Always do that. I wish there was a way to auto scene switch where it would like kill the music down. Waiting to go into surgery. All right. Well, good for good for you. Hope or well, hope everything goes smoothly. I don't know what you're doing, but YouTube should be live now. All right. Here we are. We're gonna unbox this thing, the Anycubic Cobra Max. Let's get this thing out of the box. I gotta get the live chat up on the big screen. There we go. Okay. Oh, my microphone's a little hot. Uh, folks on TikTok, can you hear me okay? The camera's a little further away from me than it usually would be for you folks. I want this box out of in front of me, so let's get this thing open and out of this thing, or out of here. We got three camera angles this stream. I just picked up a new camera, so you got a close-up, which, oh, well, this is the overhead view. You've got an overhead view. Yay. And then you've got a close-up angle, which... Really doesn't show you a whole heck of a lot yet, but hey, we've got it. So, it's here, we're here. Let's get this thing out of the box. Got me thinking about buying a 3D printer. Awesome, love to hear that. So many folks have gotten in. What's the price tag on this? This, the price tag on it, I believe is $569, $569, which for the scale of the machine that we're talking about in here is big. That's, I mean, is affordable. What's my YouTube? Mandic Really, the sign right behind me here. Mandic Really, M-A-N-D-I-C-R-E-A-L-L-Y, all one word. That's my YouTube. Okay, let's go to the overhead angle and get this thing opened up. Can't even fit this whole box in the overhead angle. Why is the box so small? I don't know. Okay, this is gonna be a pain in my ass in every way, shape, and form. Hey, Ari, welcome to the stream. Ice lid for the barrel. Ice lid is a fun idea. How the heck am I supposed to get this? Okay, we're cutting this. This is ridiculous. Ay, ay, ay. That's kind of silly that they put it in a bag that you can't see in there. Oh, there's the build plate. Let's get this back to the other angle. You can just see the build plate here. Uh, I'll bump the ISO up on this. since it's very dark inside this box. Uh, how the heck am I supposed to get this out of the box? Oh, the build plate isn't, oh, this is just the glass. It's not the, it's the build plate, but it's just the glass. Okay, that makes more sense. Big one, it's the big one. Okay, under the glass, we've got the spool holder. Right. I'm a little washed out because I'm so pale, but I had to turn the ISO up because of how dark this is. And all the accessories. Uh, let's take a quick look at what we got the accessories. I know it's not everybody's favorite thing. A tiny, minuscule amount of filament for such a big machine. I know Joel picked on that in his review of this thing. Uh, we've got the plastic, excuse me, plastic scraper, a spare nozzle. This does use a volcano type hot end to this machine. I'm really excited for that because I have some big printing ideas for this. I could set a whole E3 on the uh, Ender 3 on the build plate. You are right, Nick. Oh, it's got a type B cable, which I like a type B cable for the main board. But I also like that this isn't like a six inch long cable. So many printers come with cables that are like five inches long. This machine costs $569, $569. Um, which 
I mean, isn't cheap by any means, but for how big of a printer it is, it's actually, I think, a very reasonable price. Okay, I'm gonna put the accessories back in here. The rest of it's your snips, your standard stuff. What do you recommend for a first printer? First printer, I generally recommend the Creality Ender 3 is my go-to recommendation. Oh, there's, oh, these are our rod supports for the Z-axis over here. I can't even fit the whole freaking thing in this. There's, uh, because it's such a, a large machine, it's got rod supports for the Z-axis. Creality Ender 3 is my go-to recommendation for a starter 3D printer. Put that back in there. I save all the boxes for printers. Our basement is full of them, so... Agree with the 500% barrel. Well, this... This machine might make that happen. This is the machine we're gonna need to make a bigger bigger barrel happen. Oh, the touch blade to screen was in the box too here. So, touch blade to screen. Just touch, touch blade, touch screen display. Wow. I can speak, I can word. No. Trying to get this out of here. <laughs> okay. So much foam. Now we got the printer. Now we've got the printer in here. Ender 3s, yeah, they can be had for less than 200 bucks. Uh, depends where you are, all that, but... Ah. My monster's uh, uh, making a mess on me. Okay. This is the Anycubic Cobra Max. Anycubic Cobra Max. Jeez. Louise, this is a... Oh. Here's the Z-axis. Comes in one big freaking piece. Dual Z motors. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this more once I get this out of my way and we can actually see some stuff. Big, big okay printer. Tiny Benchy. Yeah, I'm probably going to print a Tiny Benchy on it. I'm probably gonna print a tiny benchy on it real soon. Okay, um... Ugh. Getting this out of here, it's gonna be fun. Ugh. Need a workbench about three times the size of mine. And I don't have a small workbench. Yeah. What's in the cup? Uh, that's... Monster. It's a monster. It's one of my can cups. The V8 can cup. Is this better than an Ender 5 Plus? I'm just taking it out of the box. I don't know. I refuse to give opinions until I've actually used equipment. So I'm I'm hopeful for what this machine should be able to achieve. But until I've actually printed with it, I don't know. Getting under this thing to get it out of the box is a bear. This damn flap keeps falling back in place. Yeah. Jesus. Come on. It's like stuck on some nubs. Wow. Oof. Okay. Anybody want a pizza? I got a heck of a pizza here. Um, I gotta get this box out of my way. Ugh. Yeah. Oy. Okay. Uh, am I missing anything in the box here? Don't see instructions or anything. Probably in the, they were probably in the accessory bag and I missed, I didn't pay attention. Okay, let's put this foam back in here. Out of my way, not messing up my shop. Okay. This is so fun, you folks watching me freaking uh, have to do a 5% barrel on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll be fun. That's it. Now that we have the big printer, we need to do really small prints on it. Hello, how goes it, Reese? Ah, okay, I gotta get this out of the way. Knock something over. Ah, it was a vitamin water. 
You're okay, Pop. Dominic, come back. Come here. Dominic, come back here. Come on. Okay. Now we might actually get somewhere here. Um, let's get the base of the machine back up here. Okay. <sighs> Hella helmet with all the with the spikes. Well, this might be able to do it. I want to see what mainboard this is running. I haven't heard anybody say that yet. So I'm going to see about opening it. Let me check the other camera angle now. Hey, you can kind of actually see something now. Awesome. Overhead view. You. Oh, I can drop the ISO on that now. Love watching people build 3D printers. Awesome. Well, came to the right place for that. Was just gonna ask what? Oh, what main board it runs? All right, let's uh, let's see about getting into this thing and finding out. Let's see about getting into this thing and finding out what it's running. What makes her tick? What's the lowest price you've seen for a printer? The lowest price I've seen on a printer that I would recommend is the Creality Ender 2 Pro, which can be had for um, like $130, $140 when it's on sale. Uh, it's not currently, but I have seen it that low previously. Okay, I'm gonna, it'll be a little hard for you folks to see while I pull the cover off of this, I think. Let me, uh, I'm gonna flip this over and we'll do it with the, Oh, it's got solid aluminum spacers for the, uh, for the, the build plate. I like that. And they're not, not even silicone. They are solid aluminum. Cause this thing has, um, this thing has auto bed leveling. It's same as the, this is basically a Viper on steroids, the Viper machine. But yeah. Okay. What size? Not that one. Uh, folks on TikTok, if you want a better view, head to YouTube, youtube.com slash Mandic Really. Same as the name on the sign behind me here. That is where you will get a better perspective on what's going on here. We got a 500 watt power supply in this thing. Wow, it's got an 80 millimeter, is that a 92? Uh, 80 millimeter fan. Is that 12 volt? It's 24. Damn, it's 24. But it's got an 80, 80 millimeter fan for the electronics case. Uh, let me see if I can get you folks a better view. Okay, main board is any cubic design, it looks like. This doesn't look like any board that I am currently familiar with. It's got. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pin motor connectors on it. Yeah, you're not replacing this board with uh, with an off the shelf configuration anyway. Is that still out of focus? There, that's better. Uh, yeah, so any cubic designed this board, head to the YouTube. That's where you're gonna get the best perspective. And. I have no idea what it's running for stepper drivers. What's it got for a chip in it? Let me take a photo. I wanna see what it's got for a processor. I don't see where the processor is or it's a processor I am unfamiliar with. It's an HC32F460. or 460. Not familiar with that one, but 32 bit I'd imagine. All right, so we got an external MOF set for the board heater. Good to see that. No surprise there. But it's not, is it? Or is it not? Uh, hotbed. Bu, 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 bu. It's 24 volt. It is 24 volt. It's not, well, I can't tell if it is or isn't. I believe it's 24 volt. Just left TikTok. Welcome. Came from TikTok. Cool. All right. 
So here's the main board assembly. Sorry, my head blocked the uh, the camera angle there for a little bit. I can see putting some more heat sinks inside of here. Like there's heat sinks on the stepper drivers, but not on the MOF sets and not on the processor, but that is what it is. Okay, 80 millimeter fans. First printer I've ever seen with an 80 millimeter. Uh, the nozzles that come with the Anycubics are only good for a couple of prints. I bought a whole thing of uh, an assortment of nozzles for this because it comes with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, of course, but I'm intending to do some really big prints with it. So I'm going to be running a one millimeter nozzle. We're going to do test prints with the 0.4 millimeter nozzle here, but then we're going to go ahead and, and switch it up. Uh, what printer is this? This is the Anycubic Cobra Max. Anycubic Cobra Max. We'll be changing the nozzle. Definitely. That'll definitely be happening. Okay. I want to see where the instructions are. Make sure there's not anything like super silly that I'm missing. Uh, where did I put the accessory pack? <laughs> Too many things to keep track of. Oh, here it is. Here we go. Back to the main camera angle. All right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Assemble the Z. Put the Z rods on it. Yeah, no, it's super straightforward. Super straightforward. Let's do it. All right, I gotta find the screws. Well, that's weird. I just noticed that the uh, the Z axis. I'll show you folks in a minute, but the Z axis has um it has dual Z motors, of course. Something this big that's totally makes sense. But it also has um a belt connecting the two. It's kind of silly. Got the pick and pick going here with two with multiple angles. Good call. Good call. Yeah, if you're watching on TikTok and YouTube, you're probably getting the best of everything. You can see me talking while getting a close up or whatever. So we got the hardware bag here. Uh, hardware bag, of course we gotta install the Z axis on this. You can probably see from here, here's the power supply, the 500 watt power supply. Um, I'm not sure of the brand. CZCL brand, not familiar. I was wanting to buy an Ender um, 5 Plus. I really don't recommend the Ender 5 Plus. I feel like it really needs some tweaks and changes to be a better, um, a better machine, a more usable machine. Personal opinion. The this machine I'm hoping will be my recommendation for a larger printer, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet, but I'm hoping. I want to bump the ISO on this camera real quick. I'll be right back. Hi, dude. Hi, dude. That's better. Now you can see me a little better. That's a brand new camera, so I'm working with it a little bit. Uh, the Z's come with a slight bend. Might need to replace those. Good to know. I will definitely look for issues there. Love the cat playing. Yeah, you folks can kind of see under the table on TikTok. So yeah, cat's wandering around. He always does that. Uh, portrait view on TikTok. Yeah, it is what it is. I wish I could stream to TikTok with a nice camera setup. I mean, I've got a GH6 here, a uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera over there, and a GH5 above me, but I can't use any of them on TikTok, so... Okay, Z-axis here. That's got to go on top, of course. So I'm going to stand this up so I can get a freaking perspective on it. What's sticking out of the side? Oh, it's the electrical switch. I'm going to go the other way. Let's go this way. Okay. Probably should have figured out which screws I need first. You know. Oh, sorry, I'm hitting the microphone, folks. Okay. Stay. Good. Good, good, good. 
there are zip ties on all the uh, all the slide points, all the wheels, Nick, so that it, it can't go sliding around on us. Interesting idea. First time I've seen that um, large barrel. Yeah, this is the machine we need to go bigger. This is the machine we need to make a bigger barrel. That's why I don't live on, T on TT. Yeah, I've gotten used to it, but I understand that. I definitely pride myself on quality, so TikTok's always been a strange thing for me that I, I really can't be as quality content as I would like to be. I tried it when I very first got on TikTok years ago. I tried using like my GH5 and filming high quality and editing them and it didn't it didn't make any difference. Like people didn't care. If you're not making content about filmmaking or something, it's kind of silly. Super benchy on that? You mean a super large benchy on this or a speed benchy? You got you did an Ender Extender kit. I've been wanting to, I've been meaning to uh, give a chance of doing an Ender Extender kit purely because people ask me about them all the time and I've never done one, so I should really try it just so I can. If you don't do eye contact for the TikTok, I'm reading a chat over here, so I don't know what to tell you. If you want to get a better perspective on things, head to YouTube. How can I make eye contact with you while I'm screwing in and assembling an object? <laughs> we are assembling the Creality, or not Creality, whoo, somebody said something about Creality over there. The Anycubic uh, Cobra Max 3D printer. This 3D printer is $569, $569. Not cheap, but for the size of machine it is, it's actually a pretty reasonable price, I think. I don't know, figure it out. Cool. Helpful. How to t tell me you don't actually make content with te without telling me you don't actually make content. Is it worth it? I don't know. I'm literally just assembling it, so I can't uh I can't say yet. Compared to an Ender 3 Pro, uh, it's going to be a matter of if you need the build volume. If you don't need the build volume, it'd be kind of silly to spend this much money for a bigger printer. What happened? We're assembling a new printer. We are assembling a new printer. Where's the barrel? It's in the background behind me. Uh, you can't see it on TikTok right now, but it's there. Don't, uh, uh, you, you, you don't think it's worth doing the Ender Extender Kit? What I don't like about the Ender Extender Kits is, um, yeah, I, I really think, because, like, the CR-10 S5 is, like, $600. And that's honestly kind of dated technology, in my opinion, that machine is built on. Um, so this feels like it should be a good value. I don't know. Do larger printers need more maintenance? I think yes. You're, you're exponentially creating larger problems with larger printers. This machine, the Anycubic Cobra Max, you can buy it direct from Anycubic on their website, anycubic.com. Uh, and it's about $569, I think is what the price is. They're unfortunately out of stock um, in the U.S. warehouse right now, I believe. They had to ship this one directly to me from China. But yes, larger printers in general, larger maintenance problems. Bloop. Uh, bigger the printer, bigger the problems. Uh, bigger the prints, bigger the problems. You know, a, a big print has a lot likelier chance to fill. Opinion on mini printers, like how small mini printers. Um, I have an Ender 2 Pro that Creality sent. I like it. Um, I don't use it much because I just, I have other ones. So can we see the root beer barrel with the, uh, the foam with the barrel? Uh, it's behind me right now and I'm a little busy. I just posted a video on TikTok of all the barrels, or all the lids on the barrel. So if you want to see more about the lids, you can check out the latest video on TikTok. Uh, this machine, $569, $569. What's my favorite lid? Uh, TNT. I think I like the TNT design best. Dynamite, TNT. I think that's my favorite. Right. I'm tightening these up just till I put it up. I'll loosen them up when I put the Z-Rods on. Yeah, I mean, 
I don't know. It, it could be like a, a self-fulfilling prophecy thing. Like a larger printer often has more maintenance. Um, but I feel like it's a matter of when you're doing bigger prints. They're usually longer prints. They're running for a longer period of time. So like you're, you're creating variables that can cause these issues to arise. My Ender 5 Plus took a lot of time to get it where it is. Uh, what are we gonna make on the big printer? A bigger barrel, most likely. That's what that's what we asked. Uh, that's what people have been asking for. A bigger barrel. Okay, let's stand this thing up without hitting the microphone. Oh yeah, yeah. And I hit the microphone anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. Jesus. God, that's heavy. That is a, that's a light machine right there. My least favorite lid. Um, the Earth Day lid that didn't turn out is probably my least favorite right now. Okay, so I need the Z rods. I'm gonna check the instructions real quick. Ah, my nose is running. Sorry, folks. This is what you want to see. Animal VR with the rose. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, where did I put the instructions? I keep setting them aside. Ah, there we go. I just want to double check. I know next up, let's, uh, camera angle here. Ooh, that's bright. Okay. Next up. We just, we just installed the Z-axis. Next up is the Z-rods, which go in through the sides. Yeah, okay, I see where they thread in. Okay, Z-rods. Have you ever used TPU? I really don't use TPU. Satranic with the chicken. Thank you very much. Coming all the way from Australia. Welcome. How's it going? Getting my printer working right now. Awesome. Yeah, never would have guessed it was heavy by the size of the box. No, I'm, I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked, Nick. All right. So this goes up there. Where's root beer foam? It's behind me. YouTube needs to add gifts. They do have, uh, they do have gifts. You can send, um, I forget what they call them on YouTube. They exist. Mm, I forget. They, they have, there is a way. And it doesn't take nearly as much of a percentage as TikTok does from gifts. TikTok really takes a lot from gifts. Oh, these are not, I hate that. I hate that. Use a printer to make a printer, which makes a print. Yeah, I have. I've 3D printed a printer. It's my Voron. It's right behind me right now, all lit up. 500% head. Ooh. I was joking about printing my head for one of my uh, friends, for a friend of mine. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Okay, uh, something, quick note, I don't like about the Z rods here. Uh, the Z axis rods that support the, the Z axis are both right-handed threads on both ends. It's not right and left-hand thread, so you can't you can't tighten it and have it work. Would linear rail work on Z-axis? Linear rails work on Z-axis. Uh, this machine's not designed for it, but you wouldn't be hard to convert it. Um, on something like a Creality machine, it would probably be a solid choice to do because you won't have to worry about the Z-axis sag anymore. What am I, there's supposed to be a spacer somewhere here. Oh, okay, that's where the washer goes. Well, where's the spacer go? There's spacers in this box, but it doesn't say where they go. Yeah, dual right hand thread. I hate that, I hate that. As a fabricator, I hate that. Hate that. I do not have an affiliate link for any cubic. I don't, and they're not on Amazon right now. They're out of stock in the US, so. 
All the any cubics are like that with the Z's. That's stupid. Uh, decent Core XY if it's not going to break the bank. I really don't have a recommendation. I'm sorry. The only cheaper, more affordable um, ones that I'm aware of are things like, excuse me, uh, like the Two Trees printers. Uh, but I have zero experience with it. We are assembling a 3D printer right now. That's what we're doing. Assembling a 3D printer. The Anycubic Cobra Max we're assembling. Uh, I'm going to put this washer here. I don't know if I need it. It doesn't really... The instructions are not particularly clear about where these pieces are supposed to go. Okay, there's that. Yeah, I'm going to put that one over there. Uh, how do I like the Voron? I really like my Voron 0.1 so far. Came from TikTok. Welcome. Thank you. I'm really happy with my Voron 0.1 so far, uh, but I'm still in like tuning stages. So, you know, probably not a good example to, to ask. I'm really, really, really looking forward to my 2.4 build we're going to get on to soon. Really looking forward to building that. Ah, oh, ba 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 ba. No, they aren't. The instructions, yeah. I don't know. They're 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 referencing washers and spacers, and I don't I don't understand. But hopefully, I'm doing this right. It kind of looks right. Looks about right to me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to check, I might, I'm, I almost certainly after the stream, check everything for square and reset things and mess around with this a little bit, but I think we'll just get through this initial print run for the stream. Kristen, you came over here. Welcome. Yes, I try. Uh, this, the, I hope the quality is better over here. You're looking at a brand new camera I picked up yesterday for the main angle. All right. Amazon's here with your parts. All right. Awesome. Hope your project goes well. Okay. I like reading a different language. Yeah, unfortunately, that's most printer companies, I feel like. Printer was a kit and instructions were really bad, huh? The only instructions I found to be decent, and I'm, I'm not going to say great, but decent were Prusa. The Prusa instructions are probably the best I've used. I still think they have room for improvement, but the best I've used. Okay, screen is gonna end up over here. So I need, what screws do I need? M514 and an M56. That doesn't seem right. Where's my M514? I don't see an M514. Best beginner printer. I recommend the Creality Ender 3. It's my go-to recommendation. Go-to recommendation. Kristen, how's things going on down in the... Uh, down under? That, the way that came... That, that sounded very dirt, weird. Let's just leave it at weird. How are things in Australia? That's what I was going for. Uh, it calls for, I don't know, whatever. I'm sticking this, let me measure this. I feel like I'm missing some screws here. I have hardware I could be using, of course, but. Cura works great with the Anycubic. I'm gonna try, I set up a profile ahead of time for Prusa Slicer, and I think that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, now here's sixes, I do have two sixes, okay. Um, I'm just confused. No drag racing because I'll get in rain. Ah, well, I'd imagine. It's better than years past for you folks, so there's that. 
Do you have Twitch? I do. Mandic Really. M A N D I C R E A L O Y. Settings are confusing. Um, well, yeah. I've got a whole bunch of beginner learning videos on um, TikTok. I need to bring some of them to YouTube. Damn it. Grab a bit for this. What's this camera angle look like right now? Eh, okay. Let me see if I can get the, a better view for you folks on installing these screws. I'm installing the display screws right now, which go here. There we go. Where's the other one? I just had it. Just had it. Ah, under the printer. That slicer almost killed my slot, my printer, but could have been my settings. Yeah, I've not uh, not had any issues like that. All right, there we go. Screen is on there. Looks like we got a long way to go for the display. Is that eh. wiring's not very straightforward? We'll worry about the spool holder later. Wiring up to here. Oh, okay. This is Z-axis. Okay. That makes more sense, I think. What's the build volume? Build volume on this is 400 by 400 by 450. How do you control the stream on the fly? I've got... Uh, you can kind of see it on the overhead angle, I think. <laughs> you can't see shit on the overhead angle right now. Uh, I have a stream... Um, a10 Mini from Black Magic. Uh, it's called an A10 Mini. It's a switcher. So all of my, I have three cameras all fed into the switcher, so I can hit hit like one button basically and switch between them. Ugh. Let's not hit the microphone again. Bye instructions. Getting these zip ties off of here so I can move things. There's zip ties on everything, so. Come on. Come on. It's stuck in there. Hey. Rest in peace, Mike. Yeah. Rest in peace, any headphone wearer's ears. Self source or get par uh, kit. A kit's going to be cheaper. My self-source cost me significantly more than buying a kit, so. Not much bigger than the Mega X with 300-300. I mean, my my Ender, uh, my Ender 5 Plus is 350 by 350, but 50 millimeters is 50 millimeters, you know? I This machine is going to be the difference between me being able to print a larger barrel and not, so... You know, it's kind of it kind of goes both ways. They're like, yeah, it's not that much bigger, but it's bigger enough. Uh, this self-purchase, this was sent to me by AnyCubic. AnyCubic sent this to me. This was provided to me by the folks at AnyCubic. They actually sent it to make a bigger barrel with. Uh, that's what they actually, yeah, buy instructions. Oh, well. This one motor connector is stuck underneath the motor right now. Like, really stuck underneath the motor. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's under here right now. They say size doesn't matter. Alan, hold my barrel. Yep. Anybody who says size doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't want to complete that sentence not nice it's not nice i don't want to complete that sentence <laughs> how much bigger barrel we i've got to play with it because i'm going to do it in pieces so i can go much bigger i've got some ideas i've got some ideas so we shall see 
I don't want to give it away till I'm certain what I can do. What I can make happen. Oh, come on. This motor connector is so jammed underneath the here, I can't get it out. I have to, like, remove this motor to get it out. Ugh. I'm not sure what to do right now. If you don't read this comment, you will only be able to buy yellow. Well, lucky for me, I read that comment. Oh, I was on a coaster. I thought my cup wasn't on a coaster, but it is. A PewDiePie one? Nah. Not a fan. Not a fan, personally, so... How the hell do I get this out of here? This motor connector is so stuck underneath of this thing, I can't get it out. It's like they jammed it under there so it wouldn't get out of the way, it'd be in the way in shipping, but it's like absolutely crammed in there. There we go. Just gotta force it. Really force it, that's all. All right. Use a hammer. Hey, my hammer's close by. Don't you think I don't have a hammer close by? Need a hammer often when building a 3D printer. Probably the only person who needs a hammer often while building a 3D printer, but I do. Okay, next electrical connections. We got this one that goes to the Z axis, I believe. So extruder motor, yeah. It's not very well labeled. Wish it were. Hammer time! If you say size doesn't matter, I got a hammer for you. <laughs> I keep this one around for working on printers. Honestly, funny story, this hammer, I found it in a car uh, forever ago. A long time ago, I found it in a car and I thought it was, I kept it around because it was silly and I was like, oh, that's a, that's a funny hammer. I use this thing all the damn time. Um, it, it's so useful because like I can get into tight areas with this thing and still do like, still give things a little smack. Um, or like it's my favorite for center punching. Like if I have to get into a tight area and center punch something. It's my favorite hammer for that. Kept it as a joke and now I love it. All right. There's two zip ties on the Z axis. What extruder is that? It is a Titan Aero uh, clone. It's a Titan Aero clone. It's a Titan Arrow uh, Bowden clone. So, kind of a weird choice in 2022, but I'm surprised they didn't use a BMG clone instead. Well, actually, you know what? No, actually, it's a clear housing BMG clone. It is. Barrel and Thingiverse, no. My, the, my designs are on Thangs. Thangs.com. All of my designs are on fangs.com slash mandicreely, so the name that's behind me there. Mandicreely. The eight can cup files are only on Patreon right now. Only available to patrons on Patreon right now. I, I want to fine tune this. There's no handle yet. I want to do some other stuff with that before we, uh, before we make that public. And patrons on Patreon have been helping me to iron out details on it. Okay, that's kind of neat. They I, they kind of intend you to uh, zip tie this up here. Oh, there's a couple of uh, strain relief things. Cool. It's a Viper Chiron. Yeah, but they call it the Cobra. Joel kind of made fun of that. Um, 
It's, uh... Where did the name Mandic really come from? It's my name. My last name is Mandic. M-A-N-D-I-C is my last name. And um, nobody believes me when I tell them that because they think I'm fucking with them. So I started using the name Mandic Really because I'm like, no, really, it's my name. So Mandic Really. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. And it's kind of just stuck or it sticks for me. Oh yeah. Those instructions I threw across the shop when I moved the machine. Right back. Where'd they go? Oh, they're right here. I didn't throw them as far as I thought I did. <sighs> uh, where'd the barrel idea come from? Uh, I had a design for the barrel forever ago. I've had the barrel design forever. So the barrel design is a can cup. Holds your 12 ounce can. Now I had this design well over a year ago and, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I've printed a lot of my designs large scale. You can see some of them up on the shelf above me there. And I just hadn't gotten around to printing the barrel large scale. So I finally did, and ooh, there's a good nick spot in the bed here, like a little bow in it where it got hit, damaged. Uh, so yeah. Somebody said I look like Patty Mayo. I've heard that for years of making content. I generally say Patty Mayo looks like me because I'm older and taller. Patty Mayo's like five foot something. I'm over six foot tall, and uh, I've got a few years on him. So I say he looks like me. Uh, why are you bald? Cause I'm almost 40. <laughs> okay. Next thing we got to do here. <laughs> okay. Uh, I gotta, I gotta try and show you, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to focus this closely on the instructions, but let me, let me see if I can with this camera. Cause you, you need to see this. Uh, see if I can get this in focus. Install grass plate. So yeah, is that a shotgun shell can cup? Yes, it is. Yeah, install grass plate. It's like they're trying to English. We love something. I'm sorry, I can't see the full name with a rose. Thank you very much. This does use a, uh, it uses the nozzle as a sensor. I don't know if it uses a load cell or feels like it probably uses a load cell um, to level, but it uses the nozzle for leveling. Uh, yes, shotgun shell can cup. Yes, it is. Boop. Shotgun shell design. I released that one quite a while ago. Al just hides it well. Thank you. I moisturize a lot. I moisturize. So, yeah, shotgun shell. That's the 12 ounce one. There's also a 16 ounce, or AKA 16 gauge one. Okay. Uh, now that I got distracted by the ingress. It wants me to put the glass plate on. I guess I will. Bloop. Ah! Looks sick. Thank you. Zeus or Hercules? Hmm. Carl colorful egg grass. Oy, oy, oy. Okay, where are the bed clips? Gotta be in the hardware. Bed clips. Uh, that's USB. There they are, bed clips.
What printer are you using for uh, what printer are you using for such a big print? I don't know what you mean. This is the printer we're going to use for some big prints moving forward. That's not grass. Well, I'm confused by the instructions, so I'm just going to put on what I think is the right thing. And if the instructions say different, well, I don't know what to tell you. Hey, these clips are, they're hitting the insulation for the bed. All right, there's that. One, two. Jeez, these are tight. Good thing I don't have to come back off much. Fish barrel, yep, that's been a heavily requested thing. It does have dual Z, yes, this has dual Z. Come on, yeah. I do have binder clips I could use, but I do like these this style of clip. I do like because it uh, it's lower profile and out of the way more. And um, it's a glass plate. It's not like I'm going to be removing it to uh, to um, break loose the print or anything. Hi, dude. Um, I will want to get a PEI sheet for this, a PEI sticky, uh, steel flexible plate for this. I do want to get that, but is that a printer? Yes, it is. This is the Anycubic Cobra Max. Anycubic Cobra Max. I'm just checking where they expect me to route the wiring. It's exactly where I thought. Where and how I thought, that's where and how. All right. Jekyll, what are you doing, man? How much did I spend on this printer? It is $569, $569, but Anycubic sent this to me free of charge. Anycubic provided this one to me. What's currently my favorite song? Um, I don't know. There's a Capleton, uh, like, I'm the whitest white man possible, but, and I also am straight edge, but I like reggae Rasta music. And, um, like earlier today, I sought out the song, uh, Burn Dem Down by Capleton. Yeah. Nothing makes me feel more awkward than being as white as I fucking am listening to that, but. You can only see his socks if you're on TikTok. Thank you for pointing that out. Thank you. Yes, I work in the studio barefoot. Well, not barefoot, in socks, but 90% of the time. I don't feel any reason to... This is not the Viper. It's the sibling to the Viper. This is the Cobra Max. It's basically a big Viper. It's a large Viper, basically. Uh, that Joel picked on that in his review of it, that they call it the Cobra Max, but realistically, it's the, uh, it's really the Gesundheit, dude. Cat sneezed up a storm because he was just digging in boxes in the corner. Um, do you have to plug that straight into the power grid? It only has a 500 watt power supply, so 400 by 400 by 450 are the build dimensions on this one. Uh... New hardware lid. I just did a video showing off the new lid designs on uh, that I posted right before the stream. I will, I'll show some more later, but right now that's that's what I got. Um, let's see here. Oh, okay. They expect this clip to go up here with this screw. Okay. Jackie, what you doing, man? Can you play whatever it takes? I don't do uh, I don't do song requests. Sorry. No requests because I have to use royalty free music because this is my job. That's the way it goes. All 
All right. So this wiring is supposed to go kind of silly through here. Come on, go. Doesn't want to line up. Oh, the extruder mount's a little cockeyed. It's a little crooked. Come on. I gotta loosen the extruder mount and turn it a little bit. There we go. Watching both streams at the same time is a trip. I imagine, especially I'm sure they're slightly out of sync with one another. I'd imagine they're probably slightly out of sync with one another too, I'd, I'd bet. Uh, thoughts on belt printers. I don't like the 45 degree print angle design. I think it, it leads to too many print quality issues. As such, I have no interest in belt printers currently. Michael from Teaching Tech just did a fun project yesterday um, using it to like eject parts. It was neat, but I still have no interest in it personally. I'm not running a farm, so it doesn't have that much use for me. Do you have a favorite printer currently? Uh, it's up in the air between my Voron V0.1 and my um, Ender 5 Plus. So both of my most heavily modified machines. It is about a one second delay. Sounds about right. Which one is fat? Which one uh, comes in first? Is it TikTok? I think it's TikTok, as far as I can tell. I have the stream up on my uh, TV behind the camera. Where else are you streaming? YouTube. Streaming on YouTube. Um. Yeah, it's uh, youtube.com slash mandic really. M A N D I C R E A L L Y. So we got more camera angles and more things to see on there. Is that supposed to go up and clip back down or something? Something's weird about this wiring connection. There's like a, a strain relief point, but it doesn't get used. It must have been an early revision. Okay. Oh, I'm like slipped inside of the Bowden tube. Banana for scale. Hey, that's a good point. Let me get a banana in here. A bunch of hands. I like that idea. Where did I put the bananas? There they are. Bananas. Bananas for scale. That's showing you a whole heck of a lot. Yeah. Let's switch to this angle. That one better? Yeah, kinda. Okay. Whew! That is loose. Loosey goosey. Gotta tighten that eccentric quite a bit. It's probably had to be for them to get it in there. All right, this weird cable management stuff they got going on here. Thanks for not using Twitch. I'm trying to promote my YouTube channel more. I I'm, go I'm gonna stick to doing design streams and gaming on Twitch, which I haven't had any time for lately, unfortunately. Do you ever sell what you print? No, but my prints are available to purchase. Check them out on, uh, check my resellers list. There's a whole list of stores that are authorized to sell my designs and buying from them helps to support me too. So go check them out. Uh, it's on my links page. Find my links page, the list of them. These things suck. These cable management things are terrible. Ooh. 
<laughs> Half a second sooner on TikTok. Can't get it. <laughs> yeah, well, you're probably not going to be able to. It's the server side, so. Turn the volume up or down on whichever one sounds better, and uh, and down on the one that's, or down on the one that sounds terrible. So that would be my recommendation. Eminem's lid sent 2.K likes. Thank you. This is my biggest printer as of now. Yes, this is now my biggest printer. Uh, remove the unwanted zip ties. Tighten the eccentric knot. Okay, good. They actually tell you to do that because it is loosey goosey. Lucy Goosey. Happy to see you use a one, two, three blocks. Yeah, I use those all the time for uh, aligning pieces. Um, I'll use them later to check this frame for square a little bit, but. Okay. How am I supposed to do that? Oh, it's okay. It's right there. Now I now I have perfect audio and can see his, and see my socks. End up on wiki feet soon. What pink LEDs do you have in the background? That is a, a cheap Amazon floodlight. I use a cheap Amazon floodlight for my background lighting. It's like literally a, a thirty dollar light off of Amazon that uh you, it's meant to like shine light on the outside of your house for like Halloween or something. OF link. Yeah, nah. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. How the heck am I supposed to tighten that? How in the heck am I supposed to tighten that? What Patreon tier is the feet level? Uh, above the one you're on. <laughs> you like Takis? I've never had them, honestly. I don't know if they're vegan. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I've never had Takis. I don't understand this. I can't tighten the eccentric nut. Opinion on cheese. I hate cheese. You can probably see it on my arm. Cobra Max is a big printer. Yes, it is. Currently my biggest. The biggest one I got right now. Let me try and stick something in this hole real quick. Uh, opinions on cheese, but if you can't, you can kind of see it. You can probably see it on YouTube. My forearm tattoo on my right arm says death before cheese. So that's my opinion on cheese. That's my opinion on cheese. No. Let me just keep dropping stuff. Can't really hear the electro swing on, t on TikTok. Yeah, the audio playlist. I can't have it playing in the... Uh, just in the shop. Uh, that's what she said. Thank, thank you. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to mess with this later. It looks like I have to disassemble this thing to tighten the freaking eccentric nut. Unless that puts enough of a load on it. Is it plug and play or high maintenance experience? All printers need maintenance. No matter how expensive, whatever, you're going to spend or time maintaining your machines. The most, ex I have a friend who, I have a friend who his job is industrial machine maintenance and he maintains six figure 3D printers. So like, it's just a thing. No cheese is the best cheese, agreed. That's my feeling on the matter. Okay. Tool head's tight. Uh, what's next? Ba -ba -ba. Cable secured. All zip ties are off. Belt tensioning. 
Shake the printing platform manually. If it wobbles, tighten the wheels. I think it's pretty good. Oh no. It is not. Ugh, you pain in my ass. Z the we need to tighten the eccentrics on the Y. Which is not an easy thing to do. That went a long way. Wah, I gotta stick my hand underneath here. It's a lot of me reaching into tight places in this stream. Why I gotta make it weird? I think it's any cubic that's making it weird. All right, left side's good. Now the right side. All right. I could probably get that better. But I'm pretty happy with it where it is. Now the belt tension. This belt's pretty loose. This one's okay. Boy, this this connector for the... Watching the unsynced videos, like watching the... Does the audio sound out of sync on the stream? Does the What's the first print going to be? I usually do either a Benchy or I do, um, we either do a Benchy or one that's on the SD card. I'll let you folks pick what you want to see first. Let's tighten this belt. This one's loose as hell. Don't mind me, just making a fool of myself while I tighten this. Audio sync's good. Okay, I was gonna say, because audio is going into camera, so it should be directly linked to to video feed. I can understand if TikTok and and YouTube are out of sync, that's just unfortunately gonna be the case. No control over that. Going a little tight on these belts, but like. Rather see a Benchy. Yeah, I, I get that. So we might do a Benchy. Just tightening up belts real quick. Okay. Oh. A pair of Crocs. That's a little ad adventurous for a first print. All right, now it's time to power up. Where's my... My ever present. Whoa, I'm not plugged in. My back is killing me. Too much manipulating this big heavy printer. All right. Um, right. I'm gonna leave these kind of loose for the moment. I'm not too worried about them. All right, powering on. Well, that was a cute little tune. Could you folks hear that? It's interesting. Makes a little song and dance when you start it up. All right. Let me go under the machine with this. Okay. Peel. Now we gotta do leveling. Before leveling, be sure the platform and nozzle are clean, blah, blah, blah. Power up, prepare, leveling, auto level. Prepare, leveling, auto level. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. It says to touch the nozzle. That was weird. Uh, 
All right. Ooh. The Z axis sounds kind of crunchy. Uh huh. It doesn't help that I, I loosened up the screws on the Z axis to get that motor connector out. I think that's why it sounds crunchy. Oops. Oops. Makita battery chargers sing as well. I'm a Milwaukee guy. Flip the switch, pull the lever. You're the best, I love you. Thank you. Why, my voice went very high on that one. Thank you. <laughs> this is the Anycubic Cobra Max. Forgot to cut a zip tie when you did yours. Understandable. Um, what's it doing? Preheating, please wait. Okay. We are waiting. You need tea. I got tea. I got the tea here, but I didn't have the measuring cup. I need to wash the measuring cup. I've been streaming so long, tea's getting cold. My back hurts. My back hurts. Okay, I'm gonna double check what we're supposed to be doing here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Leveling. I like that it, it has you do a pretest to make sure that the leveling is working both uh, well. Uh, print dimensions. This is 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter by 450. Um, I like when, when doing the auto leveling for the first time, Ooh, the bed heats up pretty fast. It, uh, has you touch the nozzle with a tool to be sure that it is sensing before it starts the leveling process. I like that. Make sure you're not like just jamming the hot end into the bed. I keep like positioning myself in a place where like I'm hiding behind the equipment. You have both. I try like, there are things I would like from other companies, but I just stick with Milwaukee because... I just want to have one battery system, you know? For iced green tea, okay. Uh, what CAD software do you recommend? I use Fusion 360. Fusion 360. Um, I drink a lot of iced black tea. So I drink a lot of iced tea, like a lot of it. But for stream, I get uh, a hot tea with agave nectar in it for my voice. So I don't strain my voice because I will in a stream pretty easily. Still preheating? Ah, uh, yeah, the bed's the bed's taking a while because it's such a big bed. Understandable. Biggest print, my current biggest print is the barrel, the original barrel, the 400 and, or the 350 or 250 percent barrel. Favorite lid I've made? I like the TNT. I think I like the TNT best. How do you square up the frame? A little complicated to explain. Um, I will use, uh, one, two, three blocks and some uh, machinist square and loosen up the bolts and pull them into shape. This one actually has rods on it. So it can actually force it into square. Do you make printer recommendations on YouTube? Um, I will be doing more of that stuff in the near future. Currently I I've got, I've been holding off on doing reviews. Because there's been a few changes in some of the printers I've had, so. I'm going to review this machine almost certainly, though. Safety schmafety. Eh. The older I get, the more I believe in PPE. My freaking, uh, the ringing in my ears tells me I should have worn protective, uh, hearing protection quite a long time ago. Are you going to go on printing live? Yes. We're going to do the first print on this machine live. We will. Let me get the spool holder on the side here. Yeah, 
there's the uh Come on. Clip in there. Yeah, there you go. Ay ay ay, that was tough. What do you have the orange can cup? Uh, I've got a monster in here. That's what I have in it. But this is the V8 can cup. So, it's shaped like a small block Chevy engine. But just a monster in there. A low sugar monster, blue one. One I drink the most. Seems like it does a 25 point leveling pattern. So, I would prefer to do a little bit more of a pattern, but... Do you prefer direct feed or tube feed? Bowden feed? Um, I don't have a preference one way or the other. I think Bowden is a perfectly acceptable way of extruding for most systems. Please, no more Flexi Dragons. I don't print the Flexi Dragons, so you're good. I've never printed one. What is this printer's dimensions? It's 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters by 450. What lid are you making now? I'm not making any at the moment. Is the fruit 3D printer old or new? I don't know what you're talking about. Marshmallow with a marshmallow man. That's a fun one. First thing we print will probably be a Benchy. Can the spool holder be relocated? It could be. It could be. I'm going to leave it there for now. A bigger spool will hit the, hit the motor, I just noticed. Unless it's meant to be a different orientation. It's probably meant to be a different orientation. What color should we do for the first print? I'm thinking watermelon red, uh, orange. Bought this printer three days ago. Awesome. Watermelon. Forget. I think that's what this is. Yeah, watermelon. Watermelon red. It's a matte red. Are you going to make a review? I will be, but I need time on this machine. I need to put some time in on it before I'm even close to ready to review it. But we will. Okay. That's better than I thought it was. Ugh. There's like grease on the end of the Bowden tube. The reverse Bowden tube. Ugh. There's grease on there. Why is there grease on this tube? Barrel of naughty things. No, I'm good. Are we retrying Earth? No, I'm not retrying the Earth. I feel like retrying the Earth would be anti-Earth Day at this point. Like producing that much plastic waste just trying to print a globe. You know? <laughs> so. Nope, we are not. Where's the foam lid? It's behind me. Bloop, foam lid. Is this printer new? This is a new printer. Can we burn the pallet three with a laser? Well, I don't, I don't really like the laser I have either. So play a song. Sorry. I'm streaming on YouTube, so I can't play music right now for you folks. Sorry. Lube is your friend. It is. You're right. It is. It is best to be mindful of that. Two birds, one stone. Well, yeah. Try and get rid of both of them. Um, okay, where are we at? All right. I think we need to do Z offset now, but... All right, let's load filament. All right. Prepare. That's not what I wanted. Filament. Filament in. Ah, oh, it's heating up.
What are you making? Uh, how does this one compare to the Viper? It's literally just a larger Viper. This machine is the Viper on steroids. That's it. Ever use the Ender 3? You can see one of them in the background right now of my stream. I've got three of them. They're my go-to recommendation for a starter printer. Load the filament already. Where's Mike Hawk? What does that do? Can you do blue? Uh, we already, uh, the price on this, $569. Price on this is $569. 3D print a 3D printer. I've already done it. That printer right there is 3D printed. My Voron V0. Yeah, we're going to do watermelon. The color we're going to do is watermelon. That was what got voted on first. Still had the one millimeter barrel. No, I lost it. I lost the, uh, the, um, I lost the 1% barrel. I misplaced it. I dropped it in the studio and it is just gone. I feel like it should be loading filament already. It's up to temp. Filament in. There it goes. Wow, that is slow. Screw this. That is a slow load speed. Needs a better beep. Yeah. I like the musical beep off the start. I was hoping it was going to be more musical. Oh my gosh, this filament is loading so slow. What are you making? Right now, I think we're going to slice up a benchy for it. I think we're going to do a benchy. Uh, let me get Prusa Slicer opened up here. Uh, I should be able to screen share with you folks, and you're going to get a terrible view of me. Right oh, gosh. I am blown out. This is an awful webcam on the iMac. Sorry. Let's... I already created a Cobra Max profile on Prusa Slicer. So, let's pull up... A benchy. Uh, I should have a benchy here. Doesn't look like I do. Oh, you know what? It's probably in my downloads. Benchy. Boop. There we go. That looks ridiculous in the middle of that bed. 6.9% barrel. I did the 69% barrel. I did the 69%, so let's go a 0.2 millimeter layer height. I don't feel like waiting on a 0.16. Print settings. Two perimeters, that's fine. Ensure vertical shell thickness. Nah, I'm good. Infill. Rectilinear. 10%. 250% Benchy. I do want to do that, but not in this stream. Only retract when crossing perimeters. Advanced. We're going to do... 0.5 on the first layer speeds i'm gonna keep the speeds pretty sane for the first one i don't want to push this thing right out of the box because i not used it at all to know it so filament overrides i've got no idea what this is going to want for retraction so i'm going to leave it at two cooling Let's go 25 on that. Printer settings. All right, we're good. Okay, back to the main shot. Is it a Peter Jackson perception thing or is it huge? No, Jerob, it is huge. 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter by 450. It's a big one. Yeah, I mean, I did the 69% the barrel. I feel like 6.9% is just kind of silly at that point. How wide is this with the filament spool holder? That's a good question. I need a tape measure. Give me a second. Okay. Well, it is still going. You have to manually stop the filament load. I didn't realize that. You can stop any time now. 
There we go. That took forever to stop. Now I got a pile of filament on there. Eh. Okay, it is. It's like 36 inches wide with the filament spool holder off to the side there. 36 inches wide. Uh, so what's that in millimeters? 36 times 25.4. So it's 91 centimeters wide. Almost a meter. Almost a meter. iPad stand. I've got an iPad stand. I don't need one. <laughs> now we're going to print a Benchy for the first print, I think. Uh, but I think I need to do a Z offset. Blah, blah. Do I not need to do a Z offset? This is not making a whole lot of sense. Now, Earth Day print's done. 3D printer do I recommend for very accurate prints? Um, the, the Prusa i3 Mark III S is probably the easiest out of the box to get quality, like precise prints. Be right, probably be my recommendation. If you don't want to mess with something much, you just want precise prints, the Prusa. I do not have a CR10, nope. This is basically their CR10. It's any cubic CR10. This is the Cobra Max. Yes, it is. Uh, how do I adjust? Okay, I'm going to adjust the Z offset. It kind of like dances around the subject of Z offset. Oh, yeah, there's a light on this, too. That's weird. This is so strange. This is not the Chiron. This is... Yeah... I think they want you to like live Z adjust it, which I don't care for. There is a Z offset adjustment. I don't know. I'm just going to try printing. Uh, there is a Z offset adjustment, but it seems like they don't, they don't really want you to do it till it just starts printing. You just like live baby step it. All right. Yeah. Adjust the Z offset in real time. That's kind of silly, but okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, I gotta get the SD card here. Where is it? Oh, I put it back in the bag. How much is this setup? This machine costs five sixty nine. Some sort of low rider. That'd be fun. Uh, this machine costs five hundred sixty nine dollars. But this was provided to me by any cubic. There's no SD card in there. Where the heck's the SD card? What the heck? Take things out of the bag. Wiring. Ah, there it is. Thing is huge, yeah. It's 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 my current biggest printer, biggest printer I have right now. Why did any cubic send this to me? Um, I requested it, and I requested it so we could do a bigger barrel. That's legitimately it. I asked them to send me it because I wanted to do a bigger barrel, and they said okay. So here it is. I'll probably end up reviewing it, which not necessarily what they intended, I think. But for now, we'll just do some printing with it and I'll give you first impressions. All right. 
SD card is in. No hurry, Bo Bears. Nope, no hurry, Bo Bears. Fine by me. I can't eat them. I just want to check on the card real quick. What it comes with. It's got the drivers for... Oh, it actually comes with the Cobra file. Huh. Suggested parameters. That's okay. What version of Cura does it come with? 4.2.1. Okay, not an old one. Not a particularly old one. Make a 500% barrel. That is the goal. The 500% barrel is the goal. The goal is to make a 500% barrel. We shall see if it happens. I mean... We're going to make something, whether we make a mess, I don't know. But right now, we're just going to do a, a test print. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back in my print parameters. I'm hiding from the camera again. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm going to push the speed a little bit. I want to get this done. Let's go 50... I'm gonna leave it 25 on small perimeters, 40 on the main perimeters, 60 on infill, 55 on solid infill, 40 on top solid, 30 on bridges, 40 on gap fill. And 20 is fine on initial layer because I'm gonna wanna play with it. I am so washed out in that camera. I hate this IMAX freaking webcam. Hour 40. It's been a while since I printed an hour, 40 minute freaking uh, Benchy. Oh, well, let's do it. All right, I'll grab the SD card. Oh, I'll give you folks an angle. You can actually see something. Main shot. 500% pizza. Okay, sorry folks, had to get things moved around a little bit here. Okay, I think we should be ready. Do I use the same SD card uh, every time you print? I mean, generally. I keep an SD card suited to every machine, but I have a stack of extra SD cards too. But uh, what am I looking for here? Oh, right. This. Boop. That's what I was looking for. Other camera angle. I didn't, I forgot that it was gonna do a bed level right now. You can see there, it's got a little LED light for the first layer, so that's neat. Or uh, yeah, for lighting up the work area. 
It's a single LED as far as I can tell. Like how you get different camera views. Awesome. Thank you. That's... I try. You know? It's not easy having three separate cameras to do three separate angles with, but... You know? And this overhead angle is kind of useless at this second. Hi, folks! Fish lid idea. I love the fish lid idea. We got to play with it, though. It's going to be a bit. Ugh. Banana lid. No, banana lid's been done for two weeks. Is TikTok pushing the banana lid video again? Yes, it is. It's over 18 million views now. Holy crap. 18.1 million. Jeez. They will not stop pushing that video. I'm not complaining. How many printers do you have? I have like 13. I'm streaming on other platforms. If you want to see the other camera angles, you got to head to YouTube. YouTube.com slash Mandic Really. Uh, that's how you see other camera angles. Unfortunately, TikTok just won't let me stream to their platform with my good stuff. I've tried, I've asked. Lava lid, I really wanna do the lava lid. I love that idea. Is this your full-time job? Yes, it is. Content creation is my full-time job. This right here is what I do for a living. This is King Kong lid. I mean, it'll be big enough. No, we are literally just going to do a Benchy, a test print. This is the very first print on this printer, so I don't want to push it. Doesn't let you see his feet on YouTube, though. Thank you for, uh, thank you for pointing that out. I'm glad Kristen highlighted that. <laughs> My feet are out of pers out of view on uh, on TikTok right now, too. I think. Eh. You print a PS4. I mean, this machine's big enough. Robot lid, dollar bill lid. People really want to see a money lid. We can finally do a 500% barely. Actually, 500% still won't fit on this barrel, on on this uh, this machine. We're gonna have to do it in pieces, but still using a laser engraver. I haven't used it in a while, actually. Uh, because winter, I haven't been able to open the shop doors and I've just been kind of out of, uh, out of using it. Also, I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of diode lasers, I think. I, I want more power. Pickle lid. We did the pickle lid. Pickle lid's done. Attack on Titan lid. Huh. A lid with my favorite prints on it. That's fun. Gold bar lid. Yeah, gold bar, like treasure. That's been a highly requested one. I did do, yeah, I did do a pickle lid. Just checking back here, seeing how. Cool, we crossed 450,000 followers on TikTok. Thank you, folks. Diode lasers are like your first tattoo. You want more and bigger. Yep. You are 100% right about that. That is an excellent way of putting it. Thank you. Um, yeah, uh, I've got a 10 watt diode laser from X-Tool and it's really wet my whistle for having a laser, but I just want a bigger one. I want a bigger, more powerful one. I want like a, I've been looking at an 80 watt unit that I could fit like a two by three foot piece in. Uh, update on the foam lid. Foam lid is behind me back there in the background. I just posted a video on TikTok uh, very recently. Uh, barrel of monkeys lid. I did the barrel of monkeys here from TikTok. Welcome. Thank you. Came from TikTok as well. Awesome. I gotta watch this first layer, folks. Honestly, it's looking okay. Yeah, Z offset looks okay out of the box. You were right. This is bigger than the Ender 5 Plus. This is 400 by 400 by 450. 
So it's 50 millimeters wide, uh, bigger than the Ender 5 Plus on all axis. What are we printing? We're going to print a Benchy. We are printing a Benchy, which is that little tiny boat that you print for your first print. I'm going to move the TikTok camera in a moment so you folks can actually see what's going on. Salami lid, meat lid. Um, I'm vegan, so I don't see myself doing that. Uh, yeah, the Anycubic test file is a owl. You are correct. Uh, Z offset looks like it might be a little tight, but I'm going to stick with it. Um, yes, the test file was an owl, but I sliced a Benchy for it. Uh, folks on the YouTube stream wanted me to print a Benchy, so. What filament type is, is this printer good for? Um... Oh, Kristen, you have a 60 watt CO2 laser. Awesome. What uh, what brand do you have? I've been looking at uh, an Ohmtech 80 watt, or there's another company that reached out to me that also has an 80 watt. I was looking at. Um, I didn't realize you had a laser. I <laughs> have mutton chops on my face. Thank you. Um, this machine, I would say, PLA and PETG, simply because of the open air aspect of it. Uh, that's kind of the problem, or the, the thing about this one, I would say. Um, you know, I wouldn't really want to print ASA on it or ABS just because of the open air nature of it, and I'm not 100% about the heat sink and the heat break design on this. It is a volcano hot end, so it could flow filament plenty fine, but I don't know. This is a glass bed. Yes, it's a glass bed. I'm not a fan of glass beds. I want to put a PEI bed on this, but for right now, we got glass bed. Also over from TikTok. Thank you for coming over. The, the root beer foam is literally behind me. You are correct. It's right there. Just joined. We are printing a Benchy, a Benchy, which is a test boat that a lot of people print. We are printing a Benchy. Printing 200% Crystal Dragons on this thing. Awesome. Do you do test dice? Uh, I will at some point, but I use a mirror bed. Old school. Sorry, not sorry. No, it was a good joke. I, I think you're the first person to pick, uh, to make a joke about my uh, mutton chops in relation to veganism. So I'm not, I, that was a good one. My next bigger print will be, um... A lid with bits from previous lids. Yes, people have been suggesting that. I was thinking about smashing all the lids together. Does it make a difference, dice or the boat? Um, the boat is good for overall settings. Like, it can diagnose cooling issues where the dice or the cubes can't. Um, what slicer do you like? I like Prusa Slicer. We slice this in Prusa Slicer. Um, why does it look like it missed a section? weird it's being weird it, it's like really hard for you me to show you or for you to see i'm sure but i just want to look at the how long would this take uh i it was estimated to take an over an hour unfortunately send pics on messenger awesome thank you Kristen. yeah i'm curious Oh, yeah, it's sliced. Oh, okay, I know why. It's because of the text on the bottom. Duh.
Print a lid with a bunch of fruit. Yeah, I've been meaning and thinking about fruit, fruit salad. Same size as your uh, Ender 3 with the uh, Ender Extender kit. Cool. Or is... That's not what the uh, Ender 3 Max is, is it? I thought that was 350. Yeah, 300. Start out with a 3D pen? No. 3D pens are meh. TikTok is faster than the YouTube Live. Huh, that's annoying. Yeah, I'm really, I, I really want to get a, a CO2 laser. Uh, I saw folks talking about, how do you keep that from overheating? What do you mean overheating? Uh, thinking about getting a printer, what's good and inexpensive. Um, the Creality Ender 3 is my go-to recommendation. Creality Ender 3. Solid machine, good starter printer, not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Print volume on this is 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter by 450 tall. Lid of worms. Now we're doing a test print. This is the first print on this machine, so I'm not going to go right to printing a big lid on it yet. Lid of camera. I was thinking about that because, you know, my hobby is cameras. So, like... I should like 3D scan all of my cameras and put them all on a lid or something. Uh, you recommend the V2? I understand that recommendation. I do get that. I kind of like the Pro better personally, but I understand the recommendation of the V2. I do get that. Can, do you sell prints? No, I don't. Uh, but my prints are available to buy. Check out my reseller list. On my links page is a reseller list. What kind of scanner do you use? I have a Revo Point Pop scanner. I'm really not a fan of it, honestly. It's okay, but for the price of it, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I'd love to get a better scanner. I just can't justify the expense. This does heat up a room. This will heat up a room. Printers will absolutely make a room warmer if you're running in like a bedroom or something. I have a 600 square foot studio, so. Brother's birthday's today. He's a huge fan. Wondering if you could say, happy birthday, Easton. Happy birthday, Easton. Uh, my nephew's name is Easton. Happy birthday. What uh, about modeling software? I use Fusion 360 primarily. Fusion 360 is what I use. We are printing a Benchy test boat. I have six printers in my room and it's always 85 degrees. Yeah, my old office was only like 10 foot by 12 foot and I had six printers in there and I constantly ran the air conditioning. It was a battle to keep it uh, temperature managed. It also had my custom computer, my my custom PC in there and that was yeah didn't help yeah I'm, I'm thinking I really want to do the zombie lid uh, and that's exactly what I'm planning 3d scan my own hand and zombify it uh, I like that idea I do like that idea oh for sticking uh, scans together uh, I use fusion 360 it's not good software to do it with but it's what I use uh, I have a very powerful computer so I can get the job done but it's not what I would recommend. But yeah, I use Fusion 360 for sticking the models together, the scans. Unless you mean the, the cloud point map. If that's what you mean, then I use the software that Revo Point has. Um, it's terrible, terrible software, but it gets the job done. Can't recommend auto... Can't rec uh, I can't recommend auto or recap because it's cheap and works with AutoCAD. Uh, does, do you mean you could recommend it? Uh, I should check it out. I've been trying to find some different software that will work with the Revo Point scanner because honestly, I think the large part of the problem with the Revo Point is the scanner. Can you make a lid of your own face? I already did. 
Do recommend. Okay, awesome. Thank you. We are printing a Benchy, a test boat. Nuke lid. Uh, I already have the nuke, my mini nuke design. Let me grab it. You can't even see that. I already have my mini nuke design, so I don't really feel like making a lid out of this. It's fun in its own way. I have a couple of ideas. Uh, I don't want to talk too much about them, but I have some ideas, say rocket ship and, fo and smoke kind of ideas for a, bit, a lid. So, yeah. Make a nuke lid. Uh, I don't know. How much do you spend on filament? A lot. Uh, a, a lot. I've gotten 400 hours worth of filament in this week alone. You're my favorite 3D printer guy on TikTok. Thank you. Mushroom cloud lid. I like that. Yeah. I have a I have an idea about how I can maybe make like smoke a multi. It's a little hard to explain, but I have an idea in my head. And I think it's going to turn out really cool uh, for making smoke work for like multiple different prints. Uh, recommended 3D printer, Creality Ender 3 is my go-to recommendation for a starter 3D printer. I spend so much on money on my print farm, I imagine, I bet. I don't do production, uh, I don't miss it. I've done a couple of production runs for, like, limited run sales I did, and I spent a lot of money on filament. Yeah, seen by Pharaoh, but they're absurdly expensive, I get that. I was really close to pulling the trigger on a uh, like ten thousand dollar scanner, and I just I just can't bring myself to do it because I don't have enough time. I was looking to start a business, going to people and scanning parts for cars and stuff for them, and I just I can't I can't justify it now. I don't have enough time. So how long till it's done? This has got like an hour probably. This is not a quick print. We're trying to just test this printer out and see how it does. So it's not a quick print. You can do a 500% barrel. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, a mushroom cloud uh, lids, what you meant. Awesome. Okay. I like that idea. I do like that idea. I've never used any cubic Chiron. This is my first any cubic filament printer. Uh, this scans. Yeah, they blow up. Uh, scans blow up in size. Yeah, I'm aware. Um, I. I have a storage NAS. I'll be upgrading very soon. Like, I, I get that. Favorite filament brand? Lately, I've been using Polymaker quite a bit. I've been using Polymaker a lot. 400% would be cool. I could print a 400% in one piece on this. I can print a 400% in one piece. Landon Goku with the roses. Thank you very much. Esun is good. Um, I've never used Esun. Um, I use Polymaker mostly lately. And I've been really happy with it. Um, I'm also trying to like foster a relationship with Polymaker to try and frickin' support my printing habit. Um, how does this look next to an Ender 3? That's a good question. We'll, we'll check that out in a minute. Where's the update on the Apple lid? I posted it. I posted an Apple lid update and I also posted the... I use your comment to post the uh, uh, the roundup of all the lids. To oh, you know what? I didn't put the apple lid in there. You're right. Shit, I forgot the apple lid. I knew I was forgetting something. Thank you for calling me out. Uh, Kristen, it is 4.30 here. 4.38 p.m. What what time is it there? You're. I know you're in the future, so... Polymaker's expensive? Nah. Uh, a spool, a kilogram spool of Polymaker's like $19 on on Amazon. Ro love the root beer foam. Thank you. Do you do any resin printing? Um, I do. Put, put an Ender 3 on this with the Voron on top of that. That's a good call, Nick. I'll do that at the end of the stream. Um, I do a little bit of resin printing. I just got any cubic sent over this machine. 
Um, yeah, this thing is slow. I didn't want to push it for the first print, you know. I think it could go a lot faster, but I don't want to push it yet. Um, any cubic sent over this machine, the, uh, the, wow, Cobra Max, but they also sent over the Photon M3. I posted a couple of videos about that. I love the Photon M3 so far. I'm impressed with the resolution on it. I like a lot of things about it. There's a few things I don't love, but I like most of the things about it. It's like a $300 resin printer, but I think for the size and price, it's it's pretty good. Uh, really? Oh, maybe I'm thinking of something else. I know like Protopasta is wicked expensive. Protopasta is the expensive stuff. I know that. Any possibility of bulking up the handle on the NOS cup? Uh, after printing it, it seems a bit thin. I could do that. If you really want an update on that, I will see about updating that. I haven't touched it in a while, so yeah. Oh, you can totally fit an Ender 3 on this thing. And you can fit my Voron on that. Oh yeah, Protopasta is a wicked expensive shit. Yeah, like... Uh... This 500, this 500 gram spool, switch cameras. This 500 gram spool of proto pasta is like 30, 40 dollars. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I like the stuff; it's beautiful filament, but it's expensive. Twenty to seven. Oh, 20 to 7 a.m.? Or 20 to 7 p.m.? I forget if you're 24 hours ahead of us. Oh, yeah, 20 to 7 a.m. Okay. Jeez, you're up early. I used to. I used to be an early riser. Not so much anymore. Just got an Ender 3 Max, been printing six days straight. Awesome. Love to hear that. Uh, my model's for sale. Um, they're free. Thangs.com. There should be a link in the description of this chat. Uh, let, I'll drop it on the... Uh, I'll drop it in here. Give me a second. Boop. There you go. That, that'll link you to my uh, my thangs page. 2142 here in the UK. Awesome. Uh, but the shotgun shell's on there. Yeah. How long have I been doing printing? Um, Only a couple of years. Not, very, not as long as people probably think. I honestly don't remember when I started, but yeah. Could you link me to? I'm sorry. Uh, if you go to my links page, I can't really link on TikTok, unfortunately. Links on TikTok suck. So, uh, but if you go to my links page, my link, uh, the URL on my web, on my profile will take you to uh, my links page, which has the link to my thanks. YouTube chat system needs some work. Eh, it's better than TikTok. We're printing a Benchy. This is a Benchy. It's a test print little test boat do you live in texas are you talking to me i used to live in texas a long time ago i lived in texas for a couple of years but i live in philadelphia pennsylvania long time viewer lurker love your work thank you very much like your beard i appreciate it Uh, does humidity affect stringing? It can. Um, are you addicted to printing things? I guess technically you could probably say it, but it's also my job, so it is what it is. I've been up since 2 a.m. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Is it Sunday there? Uh, yay. Uh, sorry to hear that. 
What's up with the banana lid? Just watch the video. Uh, that video's from like two weeks ago. Banana lid's been done. Uh, banana lid. Blip, blip. Banana lid. Banana lid. Banana. What was my first tattoo? A terrible one. <laughs> uh, hard to explain, but uh, I'm sorry. Can humidity affect stringing? Yes, it can. Drying filament can help to reduce humidity, but I would just retraction tune. I've never tried the Matter Hackers Quantum, so I don't know for sure. With a heat bed that size, do you notice cooling on the outer edges? That is a common issue on all heated beds, really. Um, I have no idea about this machine yet, but I always try to avoid the edge if I can. We're going to find out when we do some bigger prints how well it handles it. Um, let me grab a temp uh, uh, infrared thermometer real quick. We are 3D printing a Benchy. It's a boat. It is a boat. Now, this infrared thermometer is not going to be a particularly accurate reading overall. Because it's, it's going on glass. There is black here to read. Honestly, if this is to be believed, this back corner is like 56 when it should be 60. But the rest of the bed is pretty darn consistent. It's actually pretty consistent. Just realized I was like 300 minutes behind on stream. Okay, I was wondering why you were answering questions I asked minutes before that. <laughs> I do not watch anime. I'm not an anime person. Um, I like, um, what do you call it? Uh, Ghibli, Studio Ghibli movies. I do like Studio Ghibli movies, but I'm really not an anime person. We're making a Benchy right now. How much is this printer? This is $569. $569 US. Need more coffee. Yeah. I'm on my second monster of the day, so... What's your favorite tattoo? My palm. My palm is my favorite tattoo. Honestly, the price of this machine is that's that I was uh, I was really intrigued by this because of the price. Honestly, I've been looking for a better big printer to recommend to people because I'm not the Ender Three. Um, I'm sorry, the Ender Five Plus. I don't really care for to recommend to people. Um. So I'm really interested to see if I like this machine in the long run because it might become my new recommendation. It is my palm is not stick and poke. It's uh, it's done with a machine, but it is called stippling. So it's where they literally just dot 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 over and over again. Um, uh, but it is um, what's it mean? It's a V for vegan. It's a vegan V. On my first blue monster of the day, I just finished. I just killed my second blue monster of the day. So, does the barrel need supports? Nope, zero supports necessary. Ah, uh, your forearm was stippled. Cool. It came like partially assembled, basically the same way as most Creality machines. The Z axis. The whole Z-axis and the, and the extruder and everything was already assembled. We just had to install it onto the lower frame and make the electrical connections. So very similar to like an Ender 3's assembly, yes. Are you vegan? Yes, I am. Just set up a Fetus Dragonfly on an Ender 3 with a 50-watt heater and a 500C ther thermistor. Time to print some carbon fiber nylon. Awesome. Sounds like you're making you're going to make some fun stuff. Yeah, my palm faded, especially on this side, because my from being a fabricator, that side of my hand is very calloused. So, 
My hands are surprisingly soft for what they are, but uh, but that one is. What speed is it on? I only set it to like uh, uh, 50 millimeters a second, so we're printing pretty slow on this. Why are you vegan? I went vegan for health reasons. Uh, I have a lot of family history of, of like heart disease and cancer and diabetes and all that stuff in my family. Like a lot of it. So I went vegan because of that. Uh, and I stayed vegan because I just like it. Um, and yeah, so I don't know. I like it. And the more, the longer I've been vegan, the more I like, uh, relate to all the animal rights issues and all of that. So how old are you? I am 36 years old, 36 years young. And my back feels like it. Bob VR 74 with the flowers. Thank you. What are you making? We're making a Benchy, uh, test print, a little boat. Little boat test print. I'm old. Yep, I'm old. Older than most people think I am. Does it seem to be helping? Um, that's one of the reasons I went vegan was I was staying with some friends when I moved to Texas, and they were vegan. So I ate vegan um, while I lived with them for a short period of time, and I felt better after that. Uh, I felt better after a while of eating vegan, and it just kind of, um, yeah, um, you talk about your age like you're, wait, wait until you're 40. Yeah, well, I'll be 37 in, like, two months, okay? Like, I don't know. At this point, I just feel like I, I might as well be 40. Thought you were 45. Nope. Um... Yeah, so I felt better after eating vegan for a while, and that's what made me make the change first, and it's just stuck with it. It's been like 11 years now. Print time was supposed to be an hour 40 on this, but I feel like we're blowing through it pretty quick. Wait till you're over 50. Eh. Not looking forward to it. No offense to you. Do you make the barrel for sale? I do not, but you can buy it. Um... The barrel is available to buy um, from authorized resellers. Check out my links page. There's a URL on my website or my, my profile. That'll take you to my links page and there's a resellers list. Those folks can sell you the barrels, the foam lid, banana lids. How are you liking the Cobra so far? Uh, these are very initial impressions, but so far, I think I'm gonna like this machine. Very, very initial impressions, but I'm impressed so far. For the price, I think this is a solid machine. So I eat vegetables. Yep, everything I eat is vegetables. I always joke, everything I eat is a salad. Everything vegan's just a salad. Do you hate people who aren't vegan? No, I don't care. Your life is your choice. You're one of the TikTok creators inspired me to get into printing. Awesome. Love to hear it. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, my favorite lid, I think, is the um, TNT lid. I still like that. The foam is a close second, though. Most expensive thing I've printed, um, that is the barrel itself. The barrel itself. 1.4 kilograms of filament, so it's about 30 bucks worth of filament. Heard so many things about the Anticubics. You know, I heard a lot of good things about the Vipers. So I really want to try a Viper now that, I've, now that I'm running this machine. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know anything about support with this machine. I don't know anything about long-term running it. So largest printer you own is this one. This one right here is now my largest printer. Hello from PA. Hello from Pennsylvania as well. Favorite slicer. I like Prusa Slicer. Prusa Slicer is my go-to slicer. Favorite thing I printed? I honestly don't know. Still can't believe you mentioned me in your Women's Day video. Major goosebumps. No problem. I wanted to highlight different segments of like what my content covers. I needed women for that, and you do fun stuff. Your content doesn't pop up enough for me anymore, though. Like it's one of those stupid like I followed you, so TikTok doesn't show me your stuff nearly enough anymore. But happy to happy to shine a light on you, Kristen.
Nick Petter, uh, uh, Nick Pet R87 with Rose. Thank you very much. Ender 5 Plus or CR10 Smart? I do not recommend the CR10 Smart, uh, and I don't really recommend the Ender 5 Plus either. I've really had issues with it. TikTok name, same as here. No, my TikTok name is Hot Rod Hippie. H uh, O T R I D uh, R I D. No, R O D H I P P I E. so much of it lately. Hey, there was a great test of the power recovery feature. I, the print is still going. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. It's because everything reset, so the music was at, at top volume. Okay, the microphone shut off because we lost power. I lost power. It's silly. I've got like a dozen circuits in the studio, but I was running this printer and the computer off the same circuit and I overloaded it. I want to print a battery cover for my remote. That's probably asking a lot. That type of thin stuff is a, is a little difficult to do well. Gold bar lid's a great idea. So, all good now. Awesome. Thank you folks for sticking with me. Sorry about that. Stupid. Um, but it's interesting. We actually got to test the power recovery feature on this thing and it worked flawlessly. I usually hate those features, but it worked. Should I print the thing I'm supposed to be printing right now, but I'm not? Uh, yes, you should get to it. Let's blame TikTok. I agree. Let's blame TikTok. I, I like to blame things on TikTok. This isn't a soda top. Everybody's coming from a different video. This is a, a brand new printer. It's going to allow us to do even bigger prints. Looks like we got people joining back in here. Sorry, YouTube. We lost the stream because I lost power. But that also means we tested the power recovery on this printer and it is working. How many animals do you have? We have four. Three cats, one dog. I see the head. Um, I don't know where it is right now. Powering on my Ender 3 Pro to print the gold death bat. Oh, that sounds interesting. I have no idea what that's like. It works until the bed cools and the print pops off. You are correct about that. Luckily, I caught the power quickly and got it back up and running. I usually run my printers off of UPSs. Uh, and try to avoid ever running into a situation where I have to run the battery power back up. How many printers do you have? I have like 14. I have to do the math again, but I'm pretty sure I have 14. I just got uh, just got an Ender 3, got it to do prints really well consistently. Why should I upgrade? You shouldn't. If you're happy with the Ender 3, stick with it. Um, there's no reason to upgrade things if they're working for you. People like to just upgrade things just to mess with it, which I do it too. But I say stick with what is working for you and just go with it. 
Printing trophy toppers for a car show. Cool. We are making a Benchy. We're printing a Benchy. Just doing a test print. Get this thing tested out. See how it runs. You make a big t uh, dinosaur T-Rex as big as your leg. I don't have very big legs, so... Gotta go. All right. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. What am I doing? Hanging out, talking to you folks. You can find the death bat on Thingiverse. I'll check it out. Uh, any advice for setup of a new Ender 5 Plus? Ugh. Ugh. PID auto-tuning is a huge friend on that machine. Um, yeah, standard, standard uh, calibration tuning is all I really have for it. I modified the hell out of mine before I was really happy with it. Can I show you the smallest print? I lost my smallest print. Lost it. Um, Thingiverse. If I do a gold bar lid, will I tag you? No, I'm sorry. Uh, I, like, it's really hard for me to tag people. They're like, you know, 450,000 followers, I can't find people's names to tag them 90% of the time, so. How you liking the Viper Max? Uh, it is silly that they call it the Cobra Max, but I'm impressed with it so far, Ben. Um, yeah. My first impressions, I'm impressed. We even lost power and I already had to do power recovery and it, it recovered no problem. So, first impressions are solid. Print speed, we're printing pretty slow. We're probably about 30 millimeters a second right now. I wanted to keep it, uh, were you a mechanic? I was at one point. Uh, I use a 0.6 nozzle and 0.3 millimeter layer height. I'm going to be installing a 1 millimeter nozzle on this one. I really want to push it uh, and do some big prints with it. We're going to be doing a 1 millimeter nozzle on this one. Probably be commenting on all your videos. Awesome. I appreciate it. And that will that is a way to help me find you so I can tag you. I've been using comments a lot lately to make videos off of. So do that. Comment on the videos and that, that will allow me to tag you basically. We're printing a Benchy. A Benchy test print. Do you miss wrenching on customs? I do in some ways. I'm really, 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 really happy working for myself. Um, so that's a great thing. But I do miss customizing cars and, and modifying things and welding every day. I do miss a lot of that, yes. But I'm also just really happy with my job. So, you know, give and take. I want to get back to maybe building my uh, own car so I can get back to wrenching on stuff, but that's going to be a while down the road at this point. I'll probably end up working on my Triumph uh, Bonneville build sometime soon, but yeah. How has your day been? It's going okay. Um, it. I feel like it has only just started, and I also feel like it's almost over already. I could really use a break, I can tell you that. I've been going pretty hard, I could really use a break. Barrel of Benchies, I got an idea on that. I got an idea on that. We're, we are gonna play with Barrel of Benchies idea. Ugh. Boat is a boat. Hazardous waste barrel. A lot of people like that idea. I'm not saying it's... Uh, that. I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure out how to play with that. Can I show the barrel with the bubbles coming out of the lid? It's right there over my shoulder. I'll be right back, folks. I gotta grab a snack and visit the... Uh, the... Room. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I'm back. Why is the music so quiet now? Ah! It's because the song just ended as I turned it down. Uh, can you show us the biggest print? The barrel is the biggest print. So you've seen it in a lot of videos. I had to go to the bathroom. That's where I, that's where I went. What I did. <laughs> he back, he snack, he not black. You are, you're very correct about that, Kristen. I am the furthest thing from it. I'm translucent. What are you eating? I'm eating a Nugo chocolate uh, pretzel bar. It's like a little protein pretzel bar. Yeah. It's the boat that doesn't float. You're right, it is the boat that doesn't float. How much does it start? <clears throat> how much is it to start printing? It really depends on how much you want to spend on filament, what you want to get. You could get started printing for less than two hundred dollars. Um, it also depends how much you print. You know, I print a ton, so I go through a lot of filament. It gets expensive. It's just a thing. This printer's so big compared to you. Yeah, and I'm not a small person. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a big guy. I'm I'm a, a bean pole, so I'm a bean pole, so that's a thing. Um, but I'm six foot one, and it's still, you know, still pretty big compared to me. So it's a big machine. There's no way around it. I mean, it's what it's 36 inches wide, so it's as wide as I like half of half of me. Oh yeah, uh, Kristen, that laser you have, how do you like it? Did you like the vegan teacher? No, I don't like vegans like that. They're not doing anybody any favors by being such pushy, pretentious, whatever. You're not converting anybody by, by doing any of that. Where's the banana lid? Banana lid's hanging out in the background. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Here it is. Here, let the banana lid go for a ride.
Would you recommend the Elegoo Neptune 2S? Um, I'm not a big fan of the Elegoo Neptune 2. Uh, I have one. I'm probably going to get rid of mine. It's a fine printer. A lot of people like them. I know Uncle Jesse really likes them. I don't recommend them. I recommend the Ender 3. It's just a clone of an Ender 3, and I feel like the Ender 3 does better overall. Yes, the price is good on the Elegoo, but it lacks some features and settings that I really feel are important. Uh, can I show the 3D printed 3D printer? Uh, yeah, I will. Um, give me a second. How long did the bananas take? I don't remember. I forget how long the bananas took. You'd have to see the video where I mentioned it. We are making a Benchy, just a 3D Benchy. It's a little test print, little boat we're printing just to test out the printer. How long? Let me check the screen. About 40 minutes left on this print. About 40 minutes left. When are you painting the lids? I don't know. I got to get around to it. This kid M with the rose. Thank you. Did you miss the 250 cola print? Yeah. That was a couple of days ago. I feel like my my view of the stream got behind. It did. My view of the stream got behind. Do you have an anti-cubic viper? I do not. Um, this kid M with the uh, rose again. Thank you. So we can make a bigger barrel. You are correct. We can make a bigger barrel now. I don't have an anti-cubic viper. I do not. Uh, this is basically the anti-cubic viper, just bigger. Is the Ender 3 the way to go? I... I think the Ender 3 is perfectly fine. Ender 3 V2, you'll get a quiet machine with a ton of useful information out there about how to work with it, how to upgrade it, how, or how to modify it, how to troubleshoot it, how to fix it. There's so much there. Can you show us your first 3D printer? My first 3D printer is an Ender 3. It's uh, off off the uh, side of the camera right now. Box VR with the TikToks. Thank you. Wow, box we are with a bunch of TikToks. Thank you very much. Do you have an Ender 3 Pro? I have one that's still in the box. I haven't even opened it up. I have a plan. Uh, I've been planning to make a video about like uh, like the ultimate Ender 3. Build the ultimate Ender 3. Uh, and the plan for that was to use an Ender 3 Pro as the base. I'm going to move the camera angle real quick. Get the Benchy a little more in view. Um, do I have any... Uh, do I have any recommendations for a non-expensive printer? Uh, Creality Ender 3 is my go-to recommendation. Creality Ender 3 can have can be had for less than $200 and is a solid printer. I've printed dozens... Most of the designs that I've ever posted um, have been printed on Ender 3. Is the Pro better than the V2? Uh, no, yes. There's things about the V2 that I don't like. I don't like the glass bed on the V2. Um, I don't like the color screen on the V2 personally. But the V2 does have a um, quiet motherboard. So if you're worried about the noise level, the V2 is superior in that respect. No experience with the Soval. They follow me, but they've never sent a printer. I, I have no experience. Yeah, there's about 30 minutes left. They are correct. How big a barrel can you make? We can make a 400% barrel in one piece on this machine. We can do a 400% barrel in one piece. Um, but I haven't decided what we're going to do. I would like to go to 500%, but that will require doing it in pieces. So I got to decide. I think 500% but done in pieces is cooler than 400% in a single piece, personally. We're making a Benchy. We're making a Benchy boat.
Can I make 800 by splitting it in half? No. Uh, because the thing about percentages when you're talking about sizing up 3D prints, um, it's, it's exponential, sort of. So going from 400% to 800% is not double the size, it's like four times the size. There's, an engineer could correct me on that, but it, it's significantly bigger. <clears throat> I forget how big we can really go. That, that printer has so much room for activities by which I mean barrels. You are correct about that. Printing my NOS can holder. One day, 17 hours. Awesome. Love to hear it. Uh, Ender 3. Ender, uh, Creality Ender 3. Uh, there's the Pro. There's also the V2. The base model Ender 3 is still a, a solid printer. I have two base model Ender 3s that work just fine. So excited for the 500% barrel. Awesome. Will it float? Nope, it's the boat that doesn't float. Uh, yeah, if you that's a good call, uh, Guy the Jedi. If you have a local micro center, you can find a coupon for an Ender 3 Pro for a hundred bucks. I bought one like that. Um, who's your favorite TikTok creator? I honestly don't know. I follow a handful of folks that I really enjoy their content. Um, I don't know who is my favorite though. I really don't. Do you recommend the Unitac 3D? Never heard of it. Not familiar with it anyway. Me short with the uh, roses. Thank you very much. Make a 400% ban banana standing upright. Oof, that'd be big. Do something that changes on the back. Ah, that's a neat idea. Favorite filament right now, a uh, polymaker. I've really been liking Polymaker filament lately. We're printing a Benchy. You got kids? Nope. No children here. None here, never gonna be. How do you change colors without printing, uh, without two nozzles? You pause the print at a certain height and change out the color. That's how the lid, the uh, banana lid there was done. Just change it at a certain height and that's it. Oh, we live in Ireland. Yeah, so no micro centers there. This printer is, I believe, 569 on their website. Let me see if it's on Amazon. Somebody said it was 700 on Amazon. Oh, it is on Amazon. It's okay. It's seven forty nine on Amazon, but there's a hundred and twenty dollar off coupon. It is there is a proprietary ribbon connector. It, I mean, <clears throat> I don't know if it's proprietary. It's a fairly common so, uh, design. Okay, so one hundred and twenty dollars off. That's six twenty nine, but that's free shipping with Amazon Prime. So you're, that's probably where the price difference comes in. You probably pay shipping on their website. Just printed my 16 ounce 10 millimeter. Turned out nice. Awesome. Love to hear that.
Is a 3D printer off Wish good? Uh, I would not recommend buying one off Wish, no. I wouldn't really recommend buying anything off Wish, but... I just hot swap filament changes. I mean, that's a way of doing it. I don't know. I, I like the pause and height. It works well. Push the slicer makes it very easy. I missed it. Set up e harder or easier than an Ender 3. It's exactly the same as an Ender 3, just bigger. So it's harder because it's bigger. But otherwise, it's the same. So take from that what you will. How long left? About half an hour left. Oh, uh, I can't pause my print. I think it's messed up in gyres. Yeah, I've never run gyres, but that's silly that they leave that out. That is silly that they would leave that out. No, we're printing a Benchy, a boat. Hot, so hot swapping is more or less a necessity. Eh, understandable. I would think your purge is your issue, but you probably just wait for what, infill? Or when you think it's going to be infill, basically? I need to test that on this machine. Uh, I haven't tested whether or not the firmware is going to allow for hot swapping. Or uh, proper swapping. How much did that cost? This machine on Amazon right now... You know what? I'm going to update the description on the YouTube channel now that I say that. Since it seems like they're back in stock. And I can get an affiliate link now. Um, I don't think I can update the description while it's live. Okay, well, whatever. Um, this machine, $6.29 on Amazon with free shipping or $5.69 on their website, but I think you pay shipping on their website, so. Why is it red? Because we're printing a watermelon colored Benchy. I honestly expect thousands. Yeah, printers have become much more reasonable, and I'm really impressed with. Uh, I, I'm really impressed with this with this machine. See, when I say when I hear watermelon, I think of that. Uh, need more coffee. I think of uh, what's his name? That Marlon Webb is it Marlon Webb when he does that watermelon bit. How long is it going to take? It's about a half hour left on this one. Can you use your filament splicer on a new printer? Yeah. Um, the, the, uh, wow. Blanking. The mosaic palette can be used on various printers. So, yeah. <laughs> There's a hat in my home and it's made from water well alone. Yeah. Yep. I, I haven't kept up with this content, but it was funny as hell a couple of years ago. Do you have affiliate links for filament? I do. Uh, I have a Polymaker affiliate account that I never freaking use. Let me grab the the, the uh, URL for it. I'll drop it in the chat. Polymaker affiliate. Ba -ba -ba. How much was the printer? This printer is right now on Amazon 629 with free shipping. Or, um, there's my Polymaker affiliate account. The rest of them are all through Amazon. Um, 
I forget what I was saying. <laughs> Just ordered an Ender 3v2 thanks to your recommendations. Wanted to get into the hobby for a while. Awesome. La glad to hear it. My voice is starting to get strained. I can hear it. It is a boat. You are correct. Uh, pros and cons to hard filament nozzles like the Ruby or Diamond. They don't serve any purpose if you're not printing hard materials like carbon fiber filled materials or even glow in the dark. I just don't recommend it. Like, there's no point. Um, I Doing any mods to the Cobra printer? No. I have taken to not recommending modifying your machines. Uh, don't modify your machines. Like, until they don't meet your needs, leave them alone. A lot of people start modifying things right out of the box, and I do it too, but like, for the most part, I just don't recommend it. Yes, uh, the mosaic palette could be used on this machine. Uh, that's to say, we'll see if I even use the mosaic palette anymore, but it could be used on this machine. Um, I am gonna, the only modification I'm gonna make to this machine, especially part of the problem is I leave machines stock until I'm done using them for a while so I can review them. Because when I review a machine, I don't want to modify it. I need to experience it the way everybody else is going to experience it out of the box. So I leave it stock for at least till I do the review. Uh, this doesn't need a BL touch. It actually has auto leveling. It uses the nozzle as a capacitive probe to not to uh to probe for auto leveling. In fact, there's no manual leveling on this at all. It's entirely auto leveling. Um what was I missing back there? I do have a mosaic palette. I have a palette 3 Pro. Yes. What are you printing? We're printing a Benchy. Uh Benchy boat. The uh boat that everybody prints. Actually, I don't know how it's working. I think it's using a load cell. It, it, it is a glass bed and it does work. Um, it's it's a, uh, what do you call it? It touches the probe to the bed to test the bed uh, for, or to level and sense the bed. I am fading. I'm two monsters in and I'm already fading. Yeah, I don't know if it's capacitive. I don't think that's the right term. But it uses the nozzle as a probe. I think it has a load cell on the backside of the hot end uh, heat sink that it senses the movement of the nozzle touching the bed. But no, it doesn't. Because I don't know how the heck it works offhand. Because when I very first uh, tested it, the very first sense, it just tells you to touch the hot end with a, a tool. I used the wrench, which is metal, but I didn't put any force on it. I just tapped the nozzle and it sensed it. So I don't know. This ain't no root beer foam. Root beer foam's back there. It's done. Citation needed. Yeah. Fill in the blank here. I don't freaking know. I'm about ready for my third monster of the day, I think. Or coffee. Should probably switch to coffee. I think my blood sugar thinks I should switch to coffee. That's silly. I drink sugar free monster, but still. Well, it's not sugar free. Low sugar. More tea. Time for tea. That's at least something. <sighs> How long's left? Uh, I don't know yet. Let me check. Let me try and check. Less than 30 minutes. I think probably 20 minutes left. Not the fastest Benji by any freaking stretch of the imagination. I mean, realistically, this is my fastest Benji so far that I printed on the Voron B0. Um, and that was still 45 minutes with some awful bow. The front bow of it's pretty bad. But you know, it was my very first Benchy on the on the Voron, so. 
What's the uh, fat? Uh, oh, what's the first max build plate volume uh, print gonna be? I don't know. Um, I want to do a big print just to test it out with one millimeter nozzle. I don't really know what it's gonna be yet. Maybe a supersized benchy. Might be a supersized benchy. Want to print a uh, printer that prints in soft metal? Whew. That'd be a, a serious extrusion system. But I mean, it it should be doable. But all most soft metals are freaking toxic, so. Have I ever made a drinking cup? Nope. How's the nozzle cooling on this? It has dual 4010 fans. There's a 4010 fan on each side. I'm not a fan of 4010 fans, but having two of them, it seems plenty good. I don't see any reason to upgrade this anytime soon. Except maybe the cooling ducts. The cooling ducts are a little high compared to the nozzle, I think, so they could direct the air better, in my opinion. Foam lid's done. It's back there behind me. Can you make a drinking cup? No. I will not make a drinking cup. 3D prints are not food safe. Shouldn't uh, 3D prints are not food safe as such. I will not design nor make a drinking vessel. Have you ever 3D printed a 3D printer? I have. That printer right there is a 3D printed 3D printer that I built and printed. The one that's lit up in the background there. My Voron V0. Why do prints take so long? I don't know. It's got to push plastic. It's got to push molten plastic out and lay it down layer by layer. It's just the way it is. Some people are late on the foam lid. I think the video is getting pushed again. TikTok does that. Let me check. Yep. It's getting pushed again. So. You can 100% get plastic that is food safe. You are correct, but here's your problem. Well, there's multiple problems with, with uh, printing food safe materials. Your extrusion system is not going to be food safe. The metal in your filament uh, extruder for the gears. The Teflon in the Bowden tube the metal in the hot end none of that is food safe so your filament will rub through there and it will take some of that material with it as it goes the bigger problem with food safety with printing is the crevices because 3d printing is layer by layer there will always be micro cracks and little gaps between every single layer that is a ton of area for bacteria to get trapped and grow in and it's also usually dark, moist spots if you're using it for a liquid vessel. There's a huge chance for bacteria to grow within your prints. So even if you use the most food safe material you can, it's just not going to happen. PLA, yeah, PLA, PETG is food safe. PLA is food safe. You also have to think about the fact just because the material is food safe doesn't mean the conditions it was made within were food safe. I've been in 3D printing filament manufacturing facilities before. I've done videos about it. They're not, they're, they're just handling everything by hand. That's not food safe. Um, it's, they're not making things intending them to be food safe and 90% of filaments just aren't going to be. And then once you introduce all the other elements, it, you're out. Resin is 100% bad for food. I believe that too. Resin is People don't take resin safety nearly serious enough. Yeah, it's probably to keep the uh, ducts from crashing into the print. You are correct about that. But a well-designed... I mean, it's like... The cooling ducts are like... Whew, 10 millimeters higher than the nozzle. That's kind of significant. It's, that's way, way higher than they need. Snake lid, love it. I, I, I like the idea. Um, a, pre, a crown there from somebody I missed. There, I'm saying there's ways to do it if you use a dedicated printer. I really don't think so. 
I, I disagree. In the current way things are, with uh, I mean, if you coat the inside of the vessel, maybe, sure. But that's a different story. So, seems like the Anycubic Cobra is becoming a new Ender 3. I haven't used the Viper. This is the bigger version to the Viper, really. Uh, the Cobra Max, this is. Uh, but yeah, it does seem like it might be, might be pushing that way. Woo, retractions are terrible on this. Do you like Dungeons and Dragons? I've never played it. I really want to, but I never have. Never played Dungeons and Dragons. I want to, but I just don't have time. Do a barrel with a barrel on top of it. How much is this printer? Uh, on Amazon right now, it's six twenty nine dollars with free shipping. Um, I would not do it even if it was food safe. I, I kind of agree with that too. That's one of the reasons, like, my designs, I put, I put, like, a hole in the bottom of these things so that they can't hold liquid just to, like, keep people from doing it. Benchy Jaws theme lid. I like it. I wanted to do the Benchy riding the wave, uh, so we will see about that. We're printing a Benchy, a boat. Cat head lid. I like it. I want to do a cat peeking over the edge of the barrel with its paws on the side of it. Favorite FDM printer for under $500. I generally recommend the Creality Ender 3. It's simple. You can save yourself some money, get into the printing hobby, buy filament with the extra money. Start with that, I say. Uh, wielder. Sorry, I, I missed the number with Rose. Thank you. The boat has a, less than 20 minutes left, I think. Less than 20 minutes left. Uh, I usually, I actually recommend the Viper. I haven't used the Viper is the problem. Um, I'm impressed with this machine, initial impression. So maybe I will pick up a Viper. Maybe I will be recommending the Viper, but I don't know for sure. What inspired you to become a TikToker? Um, I was a YouTuber first. So <laughs> I make content. It's my thought. It's my job. Um, and so I just started making content on here because it was another platform and it's the platform that took off for me. So Tay Taylor won with the rose. Thank you. Thoughts on the Neptune 2? I'm not a fan of the Neptune 2. I have one. It's an okay printer. But for the money, I would rather... I would... I, For the money, I would buy a Neptune... Uh, uh, I would buy an Ender 3 over a Neptune 2. There are basic settings and features in the Neptune 2 I just don't care for. Personally. Soda bottles are PLA. Uh, soda bottles are usually PET. I I'm sure there probably are some PLA ones, but either way, um, yeah, you, I, I agree with you. Like, it's it, like, uh, what do you call it? Injection molding. Injection molding is, is safer. Yes. Super fun hanging out. Thank you for being an active part here, Kristen. It's been lovely having you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I will talk to you. So. It'd be funny if the cat was upside down with the legs hanging out. That's cute. I was thinking about the tail hanging out the other side. PET is just pet with glycol. Yep, you are right. And there are, there are technically food safe PETGs. But then your other issue... All the other stuff comes in, I say. Best program for a beginner to design with. Um, personally, I say start with Fusion 360. It's free for hobbyists. It'll grow with you. It will not hold you back. It's a steep learning curve, but all 3D design software is a steep learning curve. Just start with Fusion 360, I say. Make an Xbox controller. I don't have an Xbox, so... <laughs> I used to recommend Tinkercad, but it's very limited. That's the problem. I, I started recommending Tinkercad, but then people would outgrow Tinkercad. Then they had to relearn things when they went to Fusion. So that's kind of where I just say, just start with Fusion. Yes, it's going to be daunting, but you won't get limited by the software anytime soon. So I don't know what my favorite thing I've made is. Honestly, I've printed so many things. I really don't know.
make keyboard caps. I don't have any custom keyboards. What's a good entry level dual extruder printer? None. None. Do not recommend entry level dual extrusion printers. There are far too many problems and trade offs. They are just hassles. You don't more than double your problems when you go to dual extrusion. You like quadruple your problems when you go to dual extrusion. Is the speed on different printers faster? There are faster printers due to different design elements. You can generally push printers faster. Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of elements that go to why printers are faster or not. Hands 2 Pro, huh? What do you mean? I don't do the 3D printed snake stuff, sorry. Will you do fusion tutorials? Yes, I'm going to be doing fusion through tutorials. I have dual extrusion, I'm constantly having issues with it. Exactly. I'm not saying they don't work. They, they can, but they are a hassle. A big hassle. Uh, oh, your 10 log that you showed. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've never, never tried it. Um, direct drive probably helps, especially that's IDEX, so it's independent dual extrusion, which is a, a solid way. Um, I'm going to be doing fusion tutorials on YouTube more, so check out my YouTube channel, but that's, I am going to be doing them soon. From price point, it's entry level. How much does that thing run? Uh, I'll look it up. Because your, your monetary differences are not going to translate. Oh, hands two. There it is. Ten log, hands two. Uh, I'm not seeing it in the U.S. 400 bucks. Yeah, that's not bad. How long have I been on TikTok? Years. I've been on TikTok since like right after it changed from Musical.ly to TikTok. What kind of stuff do I recommend you print for free? Uh, free download stuff to print. My designs. Go to my thanks page. Download my stuff. Print. The Soval SVO2. I've never used it, so I can't speak to it. That's that's the problem is that I'm sure there are, are machines out there, but I refuse to recommend things that I haven't tested. Like, I, I don't want to be like, yeah, use that. I've heard good things about it, you know? Having trouble printing corners on the Ender 2 Pro. What what do you mean by printing corners? Like, are they lifting? Best budget big bed printer, Ender 3 Max. Um, Ender 3 Max is probably going to be your best bet. What is my YouTube? It is Mandic Really. M-A-N-D-I-C-R-E-A-L-L-Y. You can also find it on my uh, profile. If you click like the Instagram button on my, my TikTok profile, that'll both show you my Instagram, but also my YouTube channel. A big Donkey Kong for the banana barrel. Yeah, I want to do something like that. How much longer? I don't know. We are, we're getting there. But we're also getting slower because of the, the speed at the top. Almost 100,000 likes. 90.8. Thank you, folks. My print won't stick on my Ender 3 S1. I've got a whole video uh, on bed adhesion on my new printer tips playlist. New printer tips. It's on my page. Find that playlist. There's a three minute long video about improving bed adhesion. Check that out. Printing a Benchy. Uh, test boat, aka. Body parts lid for Halloween. I like it. I like it. <coughs> ah. What does G code stand for? I don't even know. What does G code stand for? I mean, G code is just the 
code language used by CNC equipment. Uh, I don't know why they call it G code. Where is the etymology of that from? I don't know. Doesn't say. Can't get the S1 to level. Doesn't the S1 come with auto leveling? This is a 100% scale Benchy. Yep, I didn't want to go big because I didn't want it to take forever. 100% scale Benchy, yep. Just followed you. Thank you. Appreciate it. If the boat don't float, don't... If the boat don't float, it don't go. Yeah, it ain't gonna float, so... Look at the likes. Hey, we hit 100k. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Geometric code. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Geometric code, because it's about uh, computer controlling geometry, basically. Yeah, you're... You are correct. Stands for G-code. Uh, geometric code. Yes. Saw you on TikTok. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Oh. Hi, folks. How's everybody doing? Since I've been on that same uh, view for quite a while now, I thought I might say hi to you folks. Boy, this looks different on my TV than it does on the monitor that I'm watching on. Where's the foam? Foam's behind me. In my sink at least? What, a Benchy floats in your sink? All my Benchies have floated. Not upright, but they floated. Okay, that's a fair point. Stood for Go Code. Ah, a quick search seems to say it stands for uh, geometric code, which kind of makes sense. I mean, it's basically position data. It's always position data, so that kind of makes sense. Can you 3D print anything? Nope. Some designs just don't lend themselves to being 3D printed. Gerber formats, why it's called G-code. Okay. Seems like there's conflicting answers, but I believe that. Uh, seems like Gerber files are a different format. Yeah, Gerber files are a different format. So, is Cura a good slicer? A lot of people like it. I don't. I use Prusa Slicer personally, but it's a it's a fine printer, uh, a fine slicer. It works just fine. It's just not my preference personally. Can you really 3D print a gun, or is that a myth? It can be done. Um, it's not easy to do, but it's totally doable. Is there a technical reason they dropped the direct drive on the Max version? Uh. Because, honestly, because it's not the Cobra Max. It, they call it the Cobra Max, but it's really the Viper Max. And I don't know why they didn't just call it the Viper Max. But here we are. So, uh, it should be called that, so. Uh, but I use Cura a lot. It's very customizable. It is. I mean, like, people do excellent quality work with Cura. I just don't like it. I just personally don't like it. I use it mostly to make videos and help people out. Um, like, learning it or whatever. But I prefer Prusa Slicer. I just vastly prefer Prusa Slicer. Thinking of sending the same thing here and on TikTok? What do you mean? The parts that of the gun that touch the bullet need to be metal. Logical. Especially barrel or whatever, but yeah. Jumping off. All right, Kristen, have a good day. Hope your day gets better than it has been. Or you get some sleep. So, have a good one. Cura 5's looking interesting. I haven't played with it yet. I gotta download it and get playing with it. Get some sleep, get some rest, whatever you gotta do. Or more coffee. Probably more coffee, I'm betting, is what you're gonna do, so. <laughs> Let 
Could you use a, th uh, could you 3D print a phone case? It could totally be done. This is the Cobra Max. Yes, it is. This is the Cobra Max. Do a phone lid. People keep wanting a phone lid. I should 3D scan my phone. Benchies don't float. They ain't goat. Ain't a goat. I don't get it. Phone cases with TPU. I mean, that would work well. You could do it with PLA or PDG, I'm sure. An elixir lid. Oh, I like that. Making a 350% barrel when you're five plus. Awesome. My five plus can't do 350% because uh, the the x-axis is limited. My x-axis is only 330 now because of the linear con uh, linear rail conversion. I had to limit the uh, the x-axis, unfortunately. So mine's not a full 350 by 350 anymore. Uh, the build volume on this printer is 400 by 400 by 450. 400 by 400 by 450. How do I 3D scan something? Um, newer iPhones can 3D scan in some ways, but they really, in my experience, it doesn't work well. Could you 3D print a 3D printer? Yes, I have done it. Um, where to foam at? It's over my shoulder. It's right there. It, you could 3D print a gun, but there's a high chance it'll explode in your hands. Yep. And that's not a great idea, now is it? Can you make anything you want? Nope. 3D scan your desktop? It's a freaking mess, so, meh. What's a good printer for a beginner? I recommend the Creality Ender 3, the uh, Creality Ender 3 series, basically, is my go-to recommendation. How long is this print gonna take? It's probably about 10 minutes left, I think. 3D scan a 3D scanner, oh gosh. Are you getting a Prusa XL? Yes, I am. I am getting a Prusa XL whenever the hell they actually come out. Mine's on order. It's been on order since day one. Could you make a working Nerf gun? Totally. There's a company who makes their whole deal is like modifying and making Nerf guns uh, 3D printed. So, I forget what they're called, but yeah. Is the Cobra Max a good starter printer? Oh, I don't know. It's a little expensive, I think, for a starter printer. Um... I generally recommend a cheaper printer because 3D printing is not for everybody. Could you 3D print PC parts? I have a plan to 3D print a case. I need to design it yet, but I fully intend to do a fully 3D printed computer case. So, yeah. Prusa, uh, Prusa is like the Apple of 3D printer companies and Creality is Android. Uh, I slightly disagree with that because Prusa is open source. I'm not a huge, I'm not a Prusa fanboy, I'm not. But they're open source and all they are a little eh about you fixing your own machine, I've discovered, but there's that. Uh, I would say Ultimaker or MakerBot are like the apple of, uh, of 3D printing, but. What do I use to 3D scan? You use a 3D scanner. A grave lid. Oh, I like that. A tombstone. Uh, it's the camera angle. It's the the Bowden tube is bending backwards. It's the camera angle. Now that said, I'm not a huge fan of Prusa as a, a, overall. You recommend the Cobra Max? It's too soon for me to say. This is my very first print on it. I can't say for sure. Gonna take some time before I'm ready to say I recommend it. Um, you know, my Prusa breaks down as much, if not more, than my other machines. It drives me up a wall a lot of the time. I get so frustrated with it, but I use it all the time, too. So, like, I don't know what to say. I don't think it's, like, light, light years better than other printers by any means.
clone yourself. <laughs> I already printed my head. Ah. Could you 3D print a whole book? I mean, I guess you could. Uh, using Samsung S21 or iPhone 13, you can 3D scan using photogrammetry. I've tried it with my 13. I have an iPhone 13. Uh, I've tried it, and I, I really hate the results. I've, I've not gotten it to work well, personally. Can you 3D print edible food? There are systems that can 3D print edible food, yes. Chocolate's the primary one people do. Do a barrel holder. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's the software I've tried so far. I tried Polycam. I tried, um, I forget. I've tried a couple of them and I got terrible results with photogrammetry, personally. And Polycam can also use the uh, LiDAR on, the, on there too. And I, I still, bad results for me. I, I think 3D scanning is just a, it's not there yet for for the consumer market. Like I have the Revo Point Pop Scanner, they sent it to me, and I just ah, I've never been happy with it. it. It's a real hassle to get a good print out of. I think. I see the foam. Yep, it's there. Make a mushroom lid. All right. I, I like the idea of a mushroom lid. I got to play with it. I want to do a... Uh, oh, this thing's Z-hopping. Or is it? No, it's not. I thought I saw it Z-hop. Um, I really want to do a, a, a gnome. Like a garden gnome lid. I like that idea. I think Grizz came up with that. Grizzled Gnome came up with that, or said it one of the early on. I like it. A mushroom cloud, like an explosion. Yeah, I like that too. I've got some ideas about some uh, smoky cloud stuff. I've got some ideas. We'll, we'll see. I got I got to play with it, but. Can you use 3D from your phone? Uh, the Revo Point Pop can be used with a phone to scan. Um, uh, it is doable uh, to scan with a phone or a tablet. I've not tried it. I lost. I think I lost the cable that's supposed to go to it, so I can't. How long? A moment. We've got seconds left on this print. Seconds left on this print. Uh, order to Creality Lizard Scanner. Fingers crossed they'll be able to ship it. Yeah, I heard. Hopefully that goes through for you. This does have a bigger build volume than the Ender 5 Plus. This is 400 by 400 by 450. So 50 millimeters every direction. More. Yeah, hopefully that goes through for you. I kickstarted the Elegoo Jupiter. Um, their new big resin printer. And kind of regretting that at this point because it should have shipped already and it hasn't yet. Uh, and then Anycubic came out with their um, M3 Max, which actually has a larger build volume than the Elegoo Jupiter. And I'm kind of like, cool, I wish I would have bought that. But yeah. Can I put the banana lid on after this? Give it a little bit. I want to finish, we got to finish this print. Yeah, I, like, Elegoo has been taking so long to ship things that other companies are coming out with equivalent large printers now. So it's like, cool. I mean, I ordered it like six plus months ago on Kickstarter, and here we are. 
Where'd you get this printer? I got it from Anycubic. They sent it to me. Can I show the 3D printed 3D printer? I will. Uh, after after this print's done, I'll show the 3D printed 3D printer and I'll show the um, uh, barrel. Uh, gold bar with, with all the stuff like treasure. Yeah, I like that idea. I've been trying to play with the idea of like a treasure print. Huh. And are you really going to go all the way up? Please tell me you're not. That's stupid. Ah, it only goes like 100 millimeters up. Or like 200 millimeters up when it's done. We got a Benchy. Overall, looks pretty good. There's a line, retraction issues, which I haven't dialed retractions in. And there's a line where the pause print happened, but... Book lid, I like it. I like the idea. How long till it's finished? It is finished. All right. That's done. Benchy is done. Have you done a 3D print of your head for the lid? I already did it. Yep. How much is this 3D printer? It's about 630 on Amazon right now. 630 bucks. All right. Our Benchy is done. I have to let the bed cool down. Glass. I hate glass. I hate glass. Got a good view of this? Not really. There's our Benchy. There's a little line where the uh, the pause on the print happened, but yeah. Best cheap 3D printer, Creality Ender 3, go-to recommendation. Yeah, I, I hate that the Ender 5 Plus like goes the full build volume when it shuts down or when the print's done. I hate that about it. I know realistically I could I could change the G code. I just always forget about it. Always forget about it. All right. Our first benchy is done. Let's see if I can get this off the bed. I think my I think my first layer was too tight. Z offset probably needs a little little gap, a little space. Yeah. I'm going to have to wait till the bed cools down to take that off. In chat money donation. It's there. It should be. Sorry. I haven't eaten lunch. <laughs> um, maybe it's not. I thought I haven't enabled. Oh, yeah, it's not there. Eh, it's fine. Thank you anyway. All right, 3D printer, 3D printer. Let me get it in here. Meh, not gonna fit there. Here is my 3D printed 3D printer. There it is. That is a 3D printed 3D printer. Huh. I don't know why YouTube used to have, should have it, but it is what it is. Maybe it's, I forget. Maybe I don't have it enabled. But yes, this is my Boron V0. Uh, let me pull that camera angle back. Camera angles. All right, that's my Boron V0. 
So it's a Core XY machine with direct drive on it. The majority of this printer is 3D printed. Obviously anything that's metal or electronic is not 3D printed, but the rest of it is. And it's both my smallest printer, my most expensive printer, but yeah. Can you make a bigger 3D printed 3D printer? Yes, I'm going to be building a 300 millimeter by 300 millimeter Voron 2.4 soon. How do you like the Max? My first impressions of the Max are positive. I'm liking it so far. All right, I have to get this out of the way. So my initial impressions of the Anycubic Cobra Max. I like it. Um, I'm impressed with the initial feel, or like the initial impressions. Print quality looks really good out of the box. Large build volume. The overall design is well thought out, I think. I like the BMG style extruder on it. I like the Volcano hot end. I like that it comes with dual part cooling fans. There's a lot of good thoughts going on in this thing. Can you get in the UK? I don't know. Jack in the box lid. That's a fun one. I want to build a Voron 2.4 as well. Yeah. I've got most of the parts for my 2.4 already. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. All right, folks. That's it for the Ender, or the Ender, the Anycubic Cobra Max. I keep calling it other names can't get this print off beds not cooled down enough to get the benchy off yet best cheap printer Creality ender 3 is my go-to recommendation a volcano top yep that's been a highly suggested one i like it i like it i've got some ideas dog bed yep she's hiding somewhere right now All right, folks, there is the Anycubic Cobra Max. Overall, I'm really impressed with the first impressions of it. Quiet printer, not screaming at me. The fans aren't too loud. I don't even really feel like I might upgrade the fans on the thing. It seems like a well thought out design for the price. Um, Prusa worth the money over an Ender. Ah. The Prusa is a better quality machine, but I don't know. I don't know that I would buy another one personally. What CAD program do you use? I use uh, the uh, Fusion 360 is what I use. Firewood lid. That's a fun one. Uh, just double check. Am I missing anything here? Phone case lid. I'm not really sure how I'd make that happen. There's a fly on the banana. Probably. There's been a fly flying around in here for a day or two. Good stream. Love content. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. I don't really know what else we should do in this stream. I'm pretty beat. We've been going at this for... I don't know how long. Oh, wow. Three hours? I didn't realize it's been that long of a stream. Uh, so yeah. My longest stream in a while. Also streaming on TikTok. Yep, that too. Came from TikTok. Red. All right, folks. I appreciate it. I think we're going to jet. I think this is going to be it. Uh, let me get you folks a closer view of the Benchy, at least on YouTube, that is. I'm going to change angles real quick. Just gotta move the tripod, get a better view. All right. Got that move. Boop. So there is our very first Benchy off of this thing. And like I said, it's got a a couple of little lines. One of them is the top layer line um, for the deck, which happens on a lot of benches for some reason. That's okay. The other line, the higher line, right about uh, 
right about there. That's from the pause, because when we lost power for the stream for a minute there, that's what happened there. But that's really not that bad. Love your video and all of it. Uh, have an awesome day or night. Thank you very much. I've got to go help a friend diagnose their 3D printer very soon. So thank you. I appreciate it. Filament lid. Love it. Volcano lid. Love that idea too. I've got some ideas. I've got ideas, folks. It's just going to take some time. A bone lid. That's another one. All right. I think I'm going to call it here. We got a Benchy off this thing. We got a successful first print. My initial impressions, only initial impressions of this machine, I'm impressed. Um, I'm liking it. If it keeps up the way it is right now, it's probably going to become my go-to recommendation for a large, star uh, a large starter printer. So, yeah. All right, folks. I think that is it for this stream. Thank you so much for being here, folks. And I'm going to work out the whole, like, YouTube super chat thing for the next stream. But, hey, is what it is. Thank you all for being here. There's always Patreon. You help support me that way. Patreon.com slash Hot Rod Hippie. Uh, there's exclusive designs such as the, the uh, V8 can cup over there right now. And a lot of things go there first. So get subscribed. Check out the videos. I appreciate everybody being here. Thank you so much. And I will catch you all in the next one. Have yourselves a good evening, good day, whatever it is for you. Bye-bye.